Philadelphia. Adesha Kron Kron. Wow, mm. beloved in Christ, I know you have responded. Adesha Kron Kron. We thank God Almighty for how far he has brought us. Today is a day that the Lord has made. And scripture encourages us all to rejoice and be glad in this day. We count ourselves to be fortunate to be alive today, to listen to the undiluted words of word of God from the voice of God, Stephen Adum Chedia. You and I, Philadelphia Royal, have every cause to jubilate and to sing to his holy and true name. Yes, many were the people that wanted this day, that prayed that the Lord shall give them the opportunity to live to see the prophet of God, Stephen Adun Chedia, come in their time so that they shall also get to know the word of truth for them to gain salvation for their souls but then they didn't have that opportunity we are so fortunate that in our era in our days the heavens has descended said that they have sent a man after his own heart or after their own heart to come and teach us to direct us onto the path of righteousness that is why he is not leaving any stone on ten to get the message across the globe so in this house we have second chance tv satellite second chance tv digital and then we have second chance fm 102.1 in accra and second chance fm 88.9 fm uh in kumasi for you and i to enjoy for you and i to get to know the word of truth that is coming from the voice of god Stephen adun children so beloved in christ if you just tune into any of these then be reminded that you are watching learn from the prophet you can also tell a friend to also tell a friend that if they are far away from any of this and they have their mobile phone an android or an apple phone then they can also go on to any of their social media platforms to enjoy on facebook it bears the name of the voice of god Stephen adun chedia now on youtube it also bears the name of the voice of god Stephen adun chedia subscribe you like and then you share so that people around you shall also benefit from the grace and the glory of God in this house. Stay with us. Do not move away from the TV. My name is Maradona Amwaku. Now today on this episode, it promises to be very, very educative, very, very informative, and then very informative, uh, 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 reforming as well. Thank you and stay with us. The Lord bless you. Beloved in Christ, you welcome back from the break. And we will come you back to Second Chance TV and then learn from the prophet as well. Uh, this is the program that has been tailored me to meet your need, to bridge a uh, language barrier or to serve as a bridge so that the voice, the message from the voice of God will get to any person or every other person who cannot actually decipher the local language that is free for him to also get much emphasis from us. So we want to seize this opportunity to first of all say thank you to Adun Yame for such opportunity has granted you and I to learn from his prophet Stephen Adun Chedia, the voice of God and then you also want to say Papa we salute you we thank you Stephen Adun Chedia, the voice of God for this opportunity that you have granted us for giving us this platform for us to also re-echo and to also speak about the message the word that you have given to the globe <coughs> or the world indeed uh, You've made us to understand that Christianity is not about church establishment. It's not just about doctrine. It's about reforming and then relaying uh, the cornerstone or the foundation stone for the entire world to come to know the true God. That is why your messages are meant for everyone. So we thank you for this opportunity. And we say, God, will you bless you. And to our queen mother, our mother, mommy, we salute you. We thank God. We say, God, Richard, bless you. Continue to support our <coughs> father. Continue to encourage you. Continue to encourage us and continue to love us as you always do so that we shall all be able to do the work that the Lord has given to you. Your husband, our father, Stephen Adun Chedia. To all Philadelphia Royals globally, yes, we say thank you for making it with us for spending time by your second chance tv to listeners of our uh, second chance fm in accra and then kumasi we want to welcome you and we say thank you so without wasting time god being so good we have with us in the studio some able gentleman and then an able lady 
of the Lord with us to help us so that we can be able to digest the word of God that was given to us. So let's move to the studios. Now I'm going to start from Mr. Michael Afuakwa. Mr. Michael Afuakwa is a disciple and a sound engineer or technician in this house. We welcome you, brother. Thank you, Mr. Malcolm. I believe you are doing well. By the grace of God. We thank you. We thank you. Uh, God, we thank God for your life too. And we have Auntie Dorothy Manu. She is a lecturer at Amsterdam, formerly University of Education, Kumasi Campus. Auntie, you're welcome. Thank you very much. I believe you're also doing well. By the grace of God. Yes, we thank God. We thank God. So today, today is going to be a trial. Yes, the, the three of us, we are going to hit it and then uh, try to break things down for you to understand. Spend time with us. Take your Bible. Take your, your notebooks because this program, as he says, is learned from the prophet. The only classroom program on Second Chance TV. So get seated and then let's learn. Uh, Mr. Michael Afoka, please help us with an opening prayer and then let's uh, roll on to what the Lord has given to us. Let's pray. Okay. Oh, mighty and everlasting living Father, mm. the King of kings, the Lord of all lords, the one who says that, that I am that I am. Amen. The only one true living God who wounds and heal. Yes, Lord. The one who kills and mm. gives back life. Mm. Father, we bless thy holy name. Amen. We commit this very program into your care mm -hmm. and is our prayer that please, take absolute control yes, lord. the lord at the end we shall bless thy mm -hmm. holy name we ask this through the holy name jesus christ of nazareth we have prayed amen amen amen, amen. We thank God, beloved, for this opportunity that he has given to us. It is an opportunity for us to learn and to know the truth. <laughs> you know, yeah. the voice of God, Stephen Adun Chidia, always compares Christianity to higher level of education, whereby we go to seek for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And for that matter, Christendom is about teaching, you know. So we are fortunate to have a rabbi, a teacher, who <laughs> in this end time is unfolding miseries upon miseries helping us to understand the word of god so be with us when you chance upon second chance tv do not be in haste to preach out but rather we entreat you to sit down take your bible take your notes and then let us all learn if indeed whatever the voice of god is teaching us the messages that are coming in this house are biblical or not Thank you for making that uh, decision. Eh? Now, let's move on. Uh, now, the voice of God, as uh, we've been doing now, before we start the, testimony, uh, the, the, the sermon or service, it comes with a testimony. It is a way of harvesting the glory of the Lord back to him. Because uh, he made us to understand that there is a deal that exists between mankind or the Son and the Father. said that through us, the name of the Father shall be glorified. Yeah. So we, mankind, Christians, what we have to do is to give glory to the Father. So in this house, what we do is we always harness and then we harvest all testimonies back to him. So today there were some of these mind-blowing testimonies that were being showcased in this house. Let's first look at the first one. Huh? So let's keep the ball rolling. With the first testimony, uh, our, our mother had a growth at her back which was so devastated it was serious something like a boy wow. a serious one which left her in agony hmm. in pain mr Fokwa, so a quick one you know she had already testified but we want to also harness uh glory of all viewers back to adunya I mean, that is why we are leading them through this testimony moment yeah yes. you know as you just started <laughs> god created us to glorify his holy name yes. and we are here on this earth purposely mm -hmm. to glorify the holy name of adumunyame yes. yes yeah so um that is why on every sunday mm. we have this backlog mm. of testimonies, testimonies. Countless. countless and always we have to showcase some mm. to prove mm. the power the potency the authority of our lord jesus our christ, lord jesus christ yes. so this is one as <clears throat> we are seeing on the screen yeah. you know with a, um, a woman mm. developing boil right at the 
yeah, vertebral the column, uh -huh. the spine. Yes, the spine, yeah. Now, times even when you develop this kind of ache mm. within, mm. It's, not it's, easy. it's unbearable. It's mm. not easy it's not to easy. bear. And then with a the boil mm. forming up on, let me say, the vertebral column. Yeah, yeah. How will yeah. she even bend mm. or even sleep, sleep at the back? Ah, ah. No, no. But right after applying mm. the prayer material, mm. grace cream, mm. because it has been blessed ah, and it carries, you see, ah, right after the application. Yes. It just got best. It, it got best. And look at the things that are coming the out. Past of the past that pigments. was coming out. Ah. God is too wonderful. God is wonderful. God is very, wonderful. very wonderful. God is wonderful. Mm -hmm. So, beloved, if you are just watching and uh, listening to us on radio, we entreat you to visit online. Go to Facebook. We are streaming live and then catch a glimpse of this. So that when you know or when you yourself you are in such a situation, you know that it's not the end. It's not the end. Mm -hmm. Now, let's move on to the next testimony. Auntie, what do you, a little one about the first testimony. Mm -hmm. Look at her healing. Perfect. Perfect. Mm. Perfect. Mm. As if nothing has happened. You can't see a scar. Yes. Mm. That is mm. one thing about uh, Adumi Ami, mm. the gracious God's mm. healing. Yeah. It heals perfectly. <coughs> perfectly. Without traces. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's not easy. Now, so producer, let's move on to the next testimony. The next testimony. Yes. Wow. Now, this is this woman. Okay, let me first ask you. Uh, Auntie Dorothy, mm -hmm. now looking at her, if I tell you to give us her age to, to, to kind mm -hmm. of uh, guess, what do you think will be the age of this lady? <laughs> Mr. Marco, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Mm -hmm. You may think she is uh, a very old woman. Mm -hmm. as, as old as? Maybe in her plus. late 60s or something. 70s, 60s. Uh, late uh, 60s, getting to the 70s. Wow. Wow. But not, not what knowing. do you think will be the age? <laughs> I would give her 80 plus. So. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's serious. Look yeah, at this. It's very it. serious. What, you, you, she in the future, the first time I saw that test, I thought, you oh, know, she she's, was she's very lost old her one. muscles. Yes. The ah, tricep and the is, bicep, everything, everything is, is gone. gone. This picture looks so <laughs> Like this one. Yeah. The one they reach. That one they the one they reach, you give her 70 plus. Yeah, 70 plus 80s, as he said. And then she's a very young lady. Not knowing, very young. Very lady. young lady. Because of sickness. Oh, yes. Yes, very yeah. young lady. Just, just within her uh, uh, early 30s, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, she's very sickness young. Sickness can change and deform human beings. Mm. Back. And look at the and devastating was effect. But reading in, 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 in her state. Oh, yes, for years. For, for years. So. For years. Mm. Now, now and let's look at Even she losing her hair. Everything. Yeah. She had not gone the for hair, chemotherapy, yes, but, but even the hair, her hair was falling off. It can tell you the state in which she to, found oh, herself in. And her ear was also all kind of decaying. And the pain. The pain. She would be going through. This one is serious. It's very mm -hmm. serious. This means, in fact. And this state, we are not careful. You, you, you can just lose your life. Oh, no, no, no. Mm. If it's not by grace. This one's not be, if you are, you are not careful. If you're careful, you can be there, but if you don't meet the grace, you will die. You will die because she so has been like to she was at the point of death. Oh, yes, mm, looking at her situation. Yes, well, when you listen for the details of this testimony, when she came to Christ, yeah. you see that she had been through a lot because a lot. medically they couldn't tell what she was going yeah, through. Yeah, they, they couldn't they diagnose. Was they said that along the line, they said it was typhoid. That's the only and thing they saw. Typhoid, but then the, 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 the symptoms <sighs> and then what she was going through was more than. What typhoid. typhoid could do? You see, even with this image, yes, uh -huh. and then oh, please, producer, can you help us? Just yes, go that, back that a image little. when the, her hair has fallen off. Yes, yes, with scar and even with a wounds in the a head. critical look mm. at her ear. Mm. Yes, it seems the inward portion is getting rotten. The ear mm. was rotten. That's what I was rotten. saying. Mm. The pinna was just going yeah. off, and this could tell that in fact from within, she's a living dead. Living dead. That's serious. Now, okay, so let's Hopeless see situation. what yeah. happened after she took the prayer materials. Let's see. Oh, look at her. Ha! Look at wow. her. Wow. Wow. Oh, wonderful. And let's see her hair. Oh. Hey. Going up again. And the ear. And the ear. Mm. Mm. Restored mm. back to perfection. Oh. 
Ah. What do we say to God? Gracious God, we thank I you so you much. Are you are wonderful. He's very it's very wonderful. It's merciful. It's it's serious. Now, what, what, sometimes mm. when you look at these testimonies, the things that people are going through, mm. and, mm. and mm. The, the hope that they come to this place, when they come under the umbrella of Stephen and Julia, the voice of God, they shall be restored. It, it's, it's even enough. Oh. It's even enough. Yeah, it is. Because in any situation, when there's no hope, that is devastating. It's a serious one. But then, mm. the voice of God, Stephen and Julia, has come mm. said that we will have hope in any in hopeless situation mm, 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 mm. now let's move on to the next one <laughs> the, the, the next testimony hey. i'm not that serious one eh? you see i even another, screamed I said, <laughs> another point of death one you see this cancer morning i was breast. saying that the way we were losing people to breast cancer hmm? Stephen i don't the voice of god has changed that narrative it has yeah. changed entirely. Unless that person doesn't need the grace. That is it. Mm. Many people, many women were dying out of uh. breast cancer. But the old, the, those people who were able to here. stand and then surrender their all to Adunia. Then it changes. Even yeah. if I can't count, yeah. I know of so many health personnel ah. mm -hmm. who were battling the same disease, wow. mm -hmm. breast cancer, wow. and they lost their lives. They lost their lives. Oh they lost their life they didn't meet the grace yes they lost their life and, and some people also were blessed to see the gracious god mm -hmm. but they went back to akika they yeah. went back into the world and then they died mm. oh yes so those who were able to stand Eesh. firm look at look at the wound and she said she had to cover it in polythene bath because, because, because of the, of the, the smell, yes, and, the then smell the, and then the, 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 the was filled the, was the hole with from. gauze the mm, fluid that was coming they, they, out. They fill it with gauze. Yeah. Yeah. You see, it got to a time they should have just severed or cut it off. That but was the only option yes, for because doctors because to do. She was going through chemo, uh, they thought mm -hmm. it could be. And then it was deteriorating. And mm. she also mm. lost her hair. Because of, of the chemo. Because, because of, the, of chemo. the chemo, yeah. And it's serious. It's serious. Now, one thing I like about Second Chance TV is you can't come and give us any testimony without proof. Yeah. yeah. So, with yeah. all this thing, we have medical proofs. Mm -hmm. Lab scans and yeah. other mm -hmm. things to attest to it. Then we have videos to prove. Yeah, yeah. It's not true. in those churches that someone will say, Man of God, man of God, there's a testimony <laughs> over here. It's like when I was coming, I couldn't walk. Now I can walk. What shows that you couldn't no, walk? No, no. What shows? <laughs> <laughs> evidence based. How many people saw evidence? you before? No, no, no. <laughs> After they said someone in, in, in one church and then uh, they asked if there's a testimony, mm -hmm. but uh there were no testimonies coming and so they had to stand up because they don't want the man of god to feel uh, he said back then when i eat i don't get satisfied now the moment i eat i get satisfied <laughs> <laughs> and that was a testimony you know <laughs> but over here let's look at it if it's some testimonies we don't give them the opportunity the to the end mm, look at the mm, after mm, look at it oh yes the after it has oh. been stitched perfect healing Pe the breast was not Complete. cut off. You do not see. see oh, you don't even see uh, the deformity. You. Hey, no, the way hey. it was deformed immediately, yeah. uh, initially, you uh, can uh, see. Precious it. one, I entreat you to get first one to Facebook, hey, just YouTube, 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 or second chance TV, and then see things. for yourself. Now, even when it was sealing, look at the hole, mm. chamber and hole. Huh. They were always filling it with gauze. Hey, Jesus. I don't know. Now we thank God. We thank God. So like, I want us all together yeah. to come together and say mm. thank you, Jesus. So let's say thank, thank you, you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. I do not mean for we what you do you. for we us. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. We appreciate yes. it. We are grateful to you. Beloved, yeah, uh, this this and many mind-blowing testimonies, unthinkable things are happening in our lives and in the ministry of the voice of God, Stephen Adwin Julia. So we entreat you all that whatever it is that you are suffering wherever you find yourself hmm. it is not the end believe in yourself and trust in the lord and when you do so the lord shall give you a testimony do not accuse anyone for your predicament trust the lord come to the gracious god come to the god of Stephen adun chedia and i know he shall give you rest thank you now let's move on to uh business let's go i will say business because we are tears and as for tears when we yeah. come we are in to teach so uh the professor has given us the opportunity to also lay emphasis to help mm. uh, our our people to also understand the message that was uh enveloped with wisdom and then 
deeper knowledge. Yes. Let's look at it now. Today, the voice of God before the message came with an introduction. Uh, I always say that his introduction always points to the fact that he is a perfect example of a good teacher. Yeah. Because even right from the introduction, you are filled and you get a lot of knowledge. Yeah. Yes. Well, Mr. Falcon, let me start from your uh, quarters. Today, Stephen Adun Chedia made us to understand that when Jesus Christ came, he went about teaching. He was not preaching because the word of God was just in him, that every word he spoke was the word of God. And with this word of God, teaching or talking about it always brought deeper revelations and got other people offended. Now, let's hear from you. What is it and what did he say? Then we link it to the ministry of the voice of God. Stephen Adun Chedia, what he is also doing. Thank you very, <clears throat> very much, Mr. Malcolm. You're welcome, sir. You know, according to Stephen Adun Chedia, the voice of God, and then also to back it with biblical reference, yes. what happened actually mm. in the days of Jesus Christ. Yes. Miracles that we have just showed on yes. TV. Yes. Similar or the same thing was happening mm. in the mm. days of Jesus Christ. Okay. And this got men of God, mm. pastors, mm. scribes, the Pharisees, mm. the high priest, the high priest, um, the Levitines of the mm. synagogue, and the Sadducees, and the Sadducees, yeah. confused mm. 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 because they lacked understanding. Wow. What is actually going on? In fact, they were in a state of confusion. Wow. Why? Because their minds were blown up wow. due to these miracles. miracles. The words that emanated from the mouth of Jesus Christ then. Mm. Why? Because it was actually exposing uh -huh. their weaknesses, wow. their dubious means, mm. their bad character. Mm. Whilst they have already Put on the cloth of sheep, but they were wolves. Mm, mm, mm. So Jesus' words was exposing them, was exposing them, their true identity. Wow! So they were offended. They were offended. Mm. And in a nutshell, they decided to eliminate Jesus Christ, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which they succeeded. Okay. Instead of sorting out for understanding, understanding. wisdom. Mm. Mm. into the things that was happening then okay. why because even when jesus performed the miracle mm -hmm. on the man who was born blind yes back then in the sanhedrin mm. Mm. the high priest and his mm. people yeah. asked mm -hmm. how did this man heal you yes, yes. they asked several times they meaning several that times. they lacked mm. knowledge mm. they didn't understand they didn't understand wow. they, they knew nothing about mm. what was actually going on mm. Mm. so at times they would have to twist in a way trying to distort the ministry of jesus christ wow, so they came wow, in with wow. a lot of questions to confuse him mm, mm. but after asking him questions mm -hmm. he even explained to the extent of <laughs> exposing, them, exposing the more. them the more wow so in fact the offense mm. was great mm. so they decided that no this man if we don't eliminate we him eliminate with him. Mm. this insight of his and mm. with his, his in-depth knowledge mm. we have to eliminate him else he, he would open the eyes of the world yeah yeah and he would destroy our ministry and he would destroy <laughs> our ministry and uh, we know christianity mm. is the light mm. of the world the light of the world so yeah. they wanted to shut down the light, the light of the world mm. not knowing that Jesus has already rekindled mm. that same light mm. in some people, his men, his students, his the disciples. disciples. Mm. Mm. So right after he died, they killed him and then Jesus resurrected. Yeah. Even with that knowledge, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they paid bribe mm. to some, um, um, let me say, the soldiers yeah, then. The soldiers who were at watch. Who were at mm. watch. Mm. That please. We are begging you, mm. don't disclose this information. Yes, yes. No one should know. Not yes, reason. Thinking that they have buried the light. Mm. Not knowing this same light has already rekindled mm. in Peter mm. and John. Yes. So what they saw was that 
the miracles that we just displayed, yes. some has occurred in the temple. Again. A man mm. who has been lamed mm. from birth, wow. always sitting at the gate, mm. has risen up to his feet. Wow. And in fact, mentioning the name of Jesus Christ, mm. the name that they wanted mm. to bury. Yes. That's, that same name. Ah, mm. A man born lame wow. has been healed of the same wow. name. Wow. Wow. That very day, it was recorded that Peter spoke and 3,000 good souls yes, were won. Were won. Mm. He spoke with this in-depth knowledge in the things of God. With authority. With authority. Mm. Mm. And this brought about a debate between the Pharisees, the mm -hmm. people of the mm -hmm. Sanhedrin, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. people then yeah. at the synagogue, and yeah. then the disciples. The disciples. But Peter... John and the rest, those who worked with Jesus, yeah, the disciples, the disciples, knowing for sure that in fact <coughs> their knowledge can never be matched to that of the Pharisees. Yes, they chose mm -hmm. this one man who was full of faith and power, mm -hmm. Stephen, Stephen, wow, who did not work with Jesus Christ. But he wasn't a he disciple. He wasn't the disciple. Okay, but it is recorded. Mm that this is a man of faith mm. a man who was filled with the holy, holy ghost spirit yeah or the holy spirit mm. Mm. stephen also stood mm -hmm. he spoke with this in-depth knowledge that mm. it is even recorded yes. in acts chapter 6 verses 9 mm. and 10 mm -hmm. that he spoke with this insight and wisdom mm -hmm. that the people then could not even stand it wow wow and they realized that no <laughs> how come we thought it's we have woman. already finished this yes, man yes jesus christ of nazareth, nazareth. but let's le hear what stephen is saying no 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 if we don't shut him down here in this temple mm -hmm. if this thing escalates ah, hey, we can't contain we it. cannot contain it yeah mm. so they stoned him Ooh. but in christ yeah. we don't die mm. we, we sleep, sleep. Mm. And mm. when you sleep, ah, <laughs> there's a tendency that you shall you arise, shall or you arise wake back. Mm. 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 That's serious. What happened in the days of Jesus Christ? Uh -huh. They chose Stephen yes. to speak, mm -hmm. someone who wasn't a disciple. Yes. And Stephen, I don't that the voice of God has said that we are acting mm. the same movie that Jesus did here wow. in our era today. In our era today, yeah. Ah. Men of God, can't you shine up your eyes? Can't you open your eyes very wide? Can't you see? Can't you <laughs> see? Mm. Oh, mm. and it's very true yeah. that Jesus said, I have come so that the blind will see. And yeah. those who think mm. they are seen mm. will go blind. Yeah. Yeah. We have prominent men, kings, mm. queens, yes. people that in fact we relegated. Mm. To the grounds mm. these are people who have embraced and we know christianity mm -hmm. is about the kingdom business the kingdom business okay we have kings mm. david king david yes. david was a king yes yes he had his throne mm. we have kings queens noble men in fact all confessing bearing testimonies, bearing testimonies. Mm. Mm. Speaking about the ministry of Stephen Adum Chedia, the voice yes, of God. Yes. Let's see what is actually going on worldwide, worldwide. in the UK, mm. in, in, US in the of US, in the US of A. Oh, in France, in Canada, in Germany. Has Stephen Adum Chedia, no the voice way. of God, been there? He hasn't traveled out of Ghana. Oh. Yes. You know, this is something that has never entered the heart of men. Mm. Not mm. even the eyes have seen before. Yes. It has never been recorded, recorded anywhere. anywhere before. No, 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 no. The first time that this is happening, because mm. Jesus said that when you believe in me, mm. you do exceedingly more than what I, Jesus, wow, did. Wow, wow. So if Jesus stood on a mountain to mm. speak, mm. with Steve Nadunchede at one place, mm. he's connecting the whole world. <laughs> I, th I think that your legends will have to go and revise oh. the books. There's one program back there they used to do ministry involvement in the ministry establishment or whatsoever yeah where they, they'll teach you how mm -hmm. to come together form a team to go around give gifts and then preach <laughs> but the voice of god has defined this normal <laughs> he is not going anywhere there's no anything like evangelism team or whatsoever
prayer warriors yet let's see the rate at which the ministry is being established in different countries yeah i want the doubting thomas yes to understand this very fact mm. they should go back to the book of acts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. chapter 6 mm -hmm. and they should read okay stephen was not a theologian yes he was not part of the scholars mm. Mm. the scribes the pharisees mm. he was a man full of faith mm -hmm. filled with the holy spirit and it was recorded that he performed mightily yes. a lot of miracles just as jesus did mm -hmm. stephen also did same he was already well he was resourced well equipped and blessed yeah okay and in our era what happened in the days of the disciples what stephen did uh-huh uh-huh uh -huh. the same thing is happening the same thing is happening to a man wow. called stephen adum chedia that's serious that's serious wow so they should wise up if the spirit of elijah mm. arose mm. again mm. Mm. that same spirit has awakened wow and it will be better for the entire christendom mm. to to stoop low mm. To and humble themselves. Humble themselves. Mm. They should do away with those oh. arrogance and then be willing to learn. It's very simple. Nicodemus did it. <coughs> it worked for him. <laughs> so if you're an archbishop, fine, and you don't want to attend Sunday service. After we have left, come Nicodemus. <laughs> he is there to teach you. Now, even the, the good thing is now the second chance no, TV is there. So you can sit wherever you are. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. wherever. Then go in your closet. Even if you sit in your hall, maybe your maid and people, your children will see that you are, you are listening to. Go to yeah. your, your your bedroom, it's your closet. As you said, your radio. Yeah, radio. Put the handset in your That's ears all. and then talk. know what you are listening Learn. to. <laughs> Learn. <laughs> Arrogance. Pride. Ah. It's killing us. Ego. Ego. Thank you. Oh, sometimes it's uh -huh. not uh, the pride you're talking about. Ego, that is where they get their daily. Uh, bread ah. you know so should they leave and uh mm -hmm. ak -ak doses and come and follow, follow you. you where are they going to get the ah, so for them it's, it's a business so it's you know a it's business a trade sort of thing. Oh, yeah. okay mm. and i'll ah, get so what you're saying mm, mm, mm. if they should stop that business where are they going to get money to ah. But, buy the, but, cars, but they uh, tell yes, their yes, church yes. members to go and pray and wait upon the Lord. They are not prepared to do that. <laughs> they, themselves. <laughs> they themselves are not prepared to do that. Mm. They will tell you to leave everything <laughs> in the house of God. They will tell you that when when the uh -huh. uh, member, the yes. church member is in need of something, they say go and pray. Yes. But when the, the pastor, pastor or the church mm. needs something, they say let's mm. organize. Huh? Eh? Let's organize, <laughs> organize some offering. <laughs> yes. Offer to the Lord. And of, oh, yes. see. So, now, now, actually, if there's anything you want to add, then uh, yeah. the, my, my main question for you is this. Uh, we know Christianity came on the premises of angelic ministration. You know, yeah. before Jesus was born, an angel came to announce of him. Even before John the Baptist was conceived, an angel. When Jesus was born, angels came and they took. So Stephen yeah. Adun Chira, the voice of God, always talk to us about how angels have been sent mm. to come and serve as christians he does not say we should worship angels but yeah. he said they are there to serve, to us. serve us yes so yeah, for 34 years in ministry there was a, a set of angels that were working with him looking at these testimonies here and mm. there the growth everything shows to the father indeed there's an angelic ministration now he says that there is a new set of angels that are coming and for that matter he has to prepare uh, let's look at it how is it like and how come that before even there is a changeover man has to prepare to receive them thank you very much mr marco greetings to the voice of god mm. and Nahima. yes the lord which bless you for your support amen um according to seven adam chedia the voice of god he has been with these angels or they have been under mm his uh service mm. for about 34 years okay it's not a joke mm -hmm. directing him guiding him all those while but the other time he said he sent a message to us mm. that the this angel who has been with him for this number of years yes. are finishing hard 
Yeah. <laughs> and also, I think they didn't understand it and yeah. mistakenly announced that the new angels have taken over. Okay. So Papa uh, took the opportunity to explain that mm. no, he hasn't done any uh, end of service for them. And <laughs> he has send not bid them send, send off, off yes. and then uh, bid them the uh, goodbye or whatever it is. You can't just leave them mm. in that mood. Mm. After mm. all the numerous testimonies that have come as a result of mm. the assistance, mm. he cannot do that because wow. he being a human wow. being, wow. as the voice of God, even yeah. when he's coming, the brothers are leading, they are preparing, preparing the, the way, way for yeah. him. Mm. So how much more the angels who have come to work with him for 34 years That's he can do that That's and even that aside <coughs> before the new ones take over there mm. must be some sort of preparation mm. yes to prepare us to receive them because he said it can be a drastic changeover mm. Mm. no when you do that you are not careful you break your legs yes you break your legs <laughs> it's serious, yeah. because you've been with some group who mm. group of angels who have uh, taking the trouble to take us, excuse me to say, our nonsense, yeah. <laughs> to tolerate our nonsense and mm. our, all those things. And now you want to move away from them mm -hmm. and then into the hands of those, I would say, who are maybe more rowdy yeah. and uh -huh, yeah, more radical. radicals. Yeah. You yeah. see, yeah. you mm. will not get it easy. So we need to be prepared. So after he's sent the old angels of he has to also prepare us mm. so in the course of preparing us we'll still be with the old angels old they angels. are still at yes. work yes they are not gone yet mm. and today he even sees the opportunity to announce that every philadelphia royal has uh gotten his or her guardian, guardian, guardian angel. angel so as Back we stand there yes we yeah. were in truth mm. he saw mm. we oh, yes. see. Yes. Uh, you know he yes. had <laughs> so he encouraged us yes yes yeah but back so, then, before the Philadelphia, we had lost our angels. So serious, uh, yeah. because we don't like thoughts and all yes. that, and mm. we're swimming in felt. Mm. So mm. why wouldn't they run away from us? Mm. Mm. Uh, so he said, before the new angels come, he has to prepare us. He said okay. he initially used the beatitude, mm. yeah, and then the blessings that the poor in spirit, spirit and yes. all that, yeah. yes, to let us know the rightful way of becoming a Christian. A Christian. Because he says some people are Christians now, but they didn't use the right, the right entrance. entrance. Mm. Either they came in as thieves or whatever through they the windows, the windows and yes, other, the other means. Mm. And because of that, they are not benefiting. Mm. As Christians, you benefit because mm. they don't hold the rightful documents. Mm -hmm. And for that matter, he has <coughs> to prepare us. So preparing us with the Lord's Prayer. Mm -hmm. We should understand it vividly and set ourselves <coughs> apart for mm. Christ mm. to be holy mm. before the new angels take over because they will not tolerate certain things. Mm. And he doesn't also want us to infest them with our thoughts, our mm. sins. Mm. We have to be holy. That is why our guardian angels run away from us because wow. of our sins. Wow. So he has to prepare us to be very pure, mm. purify us. Yeah in mind mm. holistically wow. so that wow. we can embrace them okay he com he equated it to preparing a uh, small food uh -huh. on maybe a small banner okay yeah. in case there's any problem either poison or whatever those who will be affected will be small yeah, because it's in case of people. any accident mm. those who will be hurt will be small and then the injury will also not be so much mm. Mm. but if you are preparing uh bigger pot of soup mm. let's say for public consumption yeah, public maybe a uh, chop yeah. bar or mm. whatever look mm. at what happened to our lady yeah the woman who came who to testify bent. something yes, very good yeah. because it's a chop bar soup mm. and for that matter it was a a bigger pot yeah. containing enough yeah About and for that matter that will also be put on a so bigger banner mm. bigger banner yes yeah. with huge fire mm. so if you are not careful and something happens mm. The injury you cannot what contain, contain it. it. Yeah. It's just like he compared it to mm. the old angel and then the yeah. new angels. Yeah. So it means the new angels are like the bigger pots with hot soup yeah. on 
a bigger oh, yes. banner. Because the higher you go, with. the higher you go, uh -huh. very good. Yes. This one is not the higher you go, the cooler, the cooler it becomes. becomes. No. The hotter, the hotter, the hotter it becomes. becomes. Yes. So it has to prepare us so that we can embrace them. Mm. And if we embrace them with that uh, purity, mm. that being pure in yeah. heart, poor in, in spirit, spirit, and holy, yes, that is meek. where we can harvest mm. bountifully. Mm. And he said, even with this economic hardship, you will be putting up your mansions without wow. knowing. Wow. People will be crying here and there, but you will not see that. Okay. Because you have embraced the new angels with a clean heart. Okay. Now, now let me follow up with this question. Is there any consequence if uh, you do not prepare yourself well, uh, to receive these angels, then all of a sudden you introduce your church or the Philadelphia nation to the new set of angels? Can there be any uh, consequences? If uh, there's something like that in the Bible, then you can help us with it. Yeah. He said uh, it does happen. It did happen to even Solomon. Mm. You see, Solomon couldn't what? Uh, obtained mercy mm, and yeah. was perished. Yeah. Yeah. Perish. Yes, because of that drastic change. change so okay. it's the same. He mm -hmm. said Moses too, in the same in way. The same Even way. Miriam also talked about uh, ill mm. about Moses, Moses and at that time. Yes, suffered yeah. leprosy. leprosy. Okay. Yes, because of the kind of angels they were moving with. Ah, at that time it was a this different time level. This time now is, I think they are. Uh, Mr. No Nonsense Angels, Offensive. they don't tolerate yeah. things and they will not forgive mm. you instantly. No, they are not that merciful like okay. the yeah. uh, old one we have been with. Uh, no, they believe one. you have learned a lot because as you've gone to that level, you should know. <laughs> you this. should know. Yes, yeah. I think that that, that is, is why yes. the voice of God, being mm. a professor, mm. has to teach. He said, Every teacher must know what his students are lacking mm. so that you'll be able to get them enough information wow. feed them well wow. Wow. to understand it to explain the yeah. things to them to yeah. understand it better yeah. when they have gotten the understanding of the concept that they will be able to move with it mm. but if they are ignorant mm -hmm. for them they wouldn't say that you are ignorant <coughs> so they are sparing you mm -hmm. they will deal with you okay. and that is what he doesn't want to happen mm -hmm. so he's so taking us through okay. to prepare because some we are here we are claiming we are philadelphians he said you say oh i'm moving with papa i'm close to him mm -hmm. i'm even uh, holding a position i'm executive yes. i'm this i'm yes. that yes. meanwhile yes. you have not uh, consecrate yourself mm. and mm. he's afraid for that okay if you are not careful you'll be uh, dead and gone and then they will ask you why didn't you meet adam mm. 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 and you may not inherit the kingdom of heaven okay which he doesn't like that okay. to happen so he's so Taking us through, taking he us. even said that his own son, he has even cautioned him that he yeah. should seek he first, Jesus Christ. Mm, mm, he, mm, Stephen Adum mm. Chedria, has nothing for him as a father. As a father. Yes, wow. because wow. he doesn't want <clears throat> us to believe that because we have uh, the voice of God, mm -hmm. we are full. Oh, yes. We will relax. We, we, we will do whatever we, have, we, we have want. The grace, we can yes, do we can do anything. No. That's Paul yes. said. Yes. Yes. Because yes. of the grace to sin continue, advance. Continue to sin. Yes. So that is mm. what he was mm. advising his son. Mm. That he had the opportunity to travel outside to Nigeria where all atrocities mm. are in their numbers. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Multiple foes. It's not easy. Yes. But he was able to go through with that being affected by the negative things, mm -hmm. but God trained him and prepared him over God there rather him. because he set himself apart for mm. God. And so he has also put him, the son, in the university where all kinds of life mm. go on there. Immoral arts. Every aspect of life is over there. Oh, yes. That's what Good you and bad, mm -hmm. they are there. <laughs> and I do normally say that yes. if you are not careful and you are gullible, mm. you will easily mm -hmm. be influenced Most people, by yeah. your Most peers. You know, and about 90%. If, if God mark. doesn't over intervene, there, over 90 before you were running, but at a time you will mm. be swimming and flying ah. in immoral acts. Yes. Because yes. you have all the immoralities around you. Mm. Peer pressure. Mm. Mm. Before you are aware, you are smoking, you are, smoking. You are humanizing, mm. you are stealing, you are, now a you are yeah. you know, doing all you sorts drink. of things. You drink. So he mm. wants him to also go there to learn mm. certain things for himself. Like, like, let's see recently what happened. Pelting of stones on Kenya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some people lose their eye. people's car. Oh, oh, is that oh so? in our time it happened oh, that okay. one of mm -hmm. our guys lost the eye. You see, uh, uh, he was then trying. I think the vice 
president of uh, Katanga Oilers. Mm. Yeah. Was he part of that? He was part of Or he was standing somewhere. Can was... he stand somewhere? He you was see, somebody will say in three that Medin Kwasa saw Yes. You see? Because <laughs> someone in the room will not lose the eye. But yeah. you were part. So, so the, these are things that are happening. Before you, you were away. At the university mm -hmm. campus, there are a lot of things. And you destroy your life. You see? Uh, so, he is cautioning us. As he is teaching us, we should pay heed mm. to it. We shouldn't take chances. Mm. And we should make sure that we are following and doing the right thing. Mm. Other than that, you'll be like somebody who has a gen to maybe US or UK yeah. with a forgery document. Mm. Mm. A fake one. A fake maybe the connection <laughs> <laughs> took somebody's yeah. uh, passport, passport and then you. fixed it mm. in yours for you. Mm. Mm. You will get there all right, but mm. you'll be stranded. Mm. Why? Because mm. you that document cannot help you to get a stay, a, what, a permanent a permit, yeah, a stay. permit stay over mm. there, mm. the green card or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You can also get card to work. Yeah. So what will happen? Mm. You will be hungry. You, you are in two, US, two you are in UK, and mm -hmm. you are hungry. And according to Sylvia Lung Chedia, you will be more hungry than being in the cottage. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, because in the cottage, and your mom is there. Actually, people yeah, are stranded over there. You. They want Many to calm down, but Many they don't people. have their means. Many people. So I do know what I said. If that's the case, then come out, expose yourself so that they will deport you <laughs> if you want to come. <laughs> so he said, because of that, people will even be uh, offending you, doing certain things that they are not supposed to do against you. Mm. But you can't talk. You can't complain. Oh. Whom are you going to complain to? Are you you to are indoors. You are hiding. Yes. Even if you are sick, you, you don't have the health insurance to also mm. go to the hospital. Mm. Mm. If you get there, they will arrest you and you, deport you. Yeah. So it's like you have gone to the UK, but you are so, mm. what, hanging around with hunger. Mm. You are afraid of the police. Yes. Even if something happens now and you dare surface, you'll be arrested. You'll be arrested. Yeah. So you are not on your own. You're not on your own. No, mm. you are always hiding. Left you alone, you have come to your Ghana. Mm. All because you went there with a false document. Mm. And that is what he wants to teach us. Yeah. So that we will travel in the Christian realm mm. with what? The right document. document. Wow. That is the Lord's Prayer, mm. which is the green card. Okay. And he said, now, you may be receiving testimonies. Okay. You dare, Adum Nyame, mm. if you are the one who sent the voice of God, mm. then... Show yourself worthy. Yeah. If you have authority, let if you are the one, glory. yes, mm. let yes, see your glory yes. and all that. You challenge yes. it, it and you and get it. Seven Adum Chedua, the voice of God this afternoon, said that we are doing all that on his tickets. Mm. We are mm. using his document, yes. but he wants us to use our own document. Yes. Other than that, because you are getting it free of charge mm. Mm. on his ticket, mm. you then getting the miracle or the testimony, mm -hmm. you go back to your thoughts. Yeah. You are fornicating again, mm. you go back, you are fornicating. Mm. You are drinking, you go back drinking. Mm. Stealing, you go back drinking. It's cheating, you go back way. cheating. And it's like all sort of life you were leading. Mm -hmm. You don't want to leave it. You are enjoying mm. it. Mm. Because and you are still how, enjoying testimony. Yes, you are enjoying yeah. testimony. So That's it can't yeah. be there forever. Wow. If this angels take over, it will be a disaster for you. It will be a disaster for yeah. you. Wow. Wow. Mm. Zofoku, I saw you know, Dina. I think there's something <laughs> you want to add to it. Now, let's look at the Lord's Prayer. Coming to you, Madame did mention of it as a green card. Let's look at the value of the Lord's Prayer as the voice of God. Stephen, I don't you just spoke about it today. Many of us do recite it because we see it to be part of a ritual. You, you know, they are, in Christianity, they believe there are certain things. It's a ritual you have to just go through. Just like one of them is uh, baptism. You just dip you in there. Whether you are smoking, you just lift up your hands. I take Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. The next day, they take you to the sea or whatever river. Dip you in. You are free. There you go. Then they, you also believe that as a Christian, you should be able to recite the Lord's Prayer. So the voice of God made us to understand that every Christian, he believes, is able to say it even in the morning, afternoon, and the evening. Now, but what is the value of it? Must it communicate something to us? What does it communicate? Let me go that way. <laughs> mm. Thank you very much. But please allow me just to add one okay. or two. You, just you have the opportunity. Little. Yes. You know, it is recorded in the Bible that Paul said, Don't you know... <coughs> that on the day of reckoning we would judge the angels this should point to the fact that in fact christianity true christianity is being backed by angelic ministration i see you 
Why? Because Paul did mention that. Mm, mm, mm. But these angels, mm -hmm. these are the same angels mm -hmm. that are bowing mm -hmm. to the almighty living God. Holy, holy are you, O mm, Lord. Mm, up, mm, there, up there, they are without failed, mm. no blemish. That's you. Complete, mm. clean. So if... Mm -hmm. Based on the glory of God, mm. you, you attract them, yes. pull them over from, mm. above from above onto this earth yes. to continue with the glorification business. Wow. Wow. Then you would have to teach as mm. a good rabbi. Okay. Just as Stephen Adunche, okay. the voice of God is doing. Mm. For 34 good years, mm -hmm. he has taught. Wow a lot exposed us in fact to the deeper revelations yes, in yes, the word of in the god, word of god. In the word now this old set mm. will soon mm. be living mm -hmm. even in a baton race yes. i just want to point to a fact yes yes if you are the one who started mm. and then you are almost reaching the one mm. who'll be taking over mm. in a baton race yes. if you want the one taking over to make let me say mm -hmm. the excellent mark mm -hmm. you would have to speed up have to speed up yeah introduce a lot of energy mm -hmm. so let's see what is happening to mm -hmm. the old set of angels and if you even know how to hand over the baton properly before it falls mm. they are yet to go and let's see the miracles wow that is unfolding on second mm -hmm. chance tv mm -hmm. finish hard, mm. finish hard. hard. wow and wow. when one door closes, another ah, opens. Multiple opens. With the new set Aye. that is yet to, come. to be received, mm. they mm. are on their way, as yes. said by Stephen yes. Adun They are doing warm up. And he's preparing mm. the mm. grounds for us to meet this new set of angels. Mm. And with these ones, they are radical. Serious. In fact, Serious. they are in, in our local dialect. Mm. Yeah. Sharp, sharp. Sharp, sharp. <laughs> so we would have to, pre in fact, present ourselves mm. to, 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 be to be saved by yeah. their ministry. And this is what Stephen Adum Chidia, the voice of God, has started. Mm. That how would you become a Christian? How would you you must go Christian? through the Beatitudes. Mm. And with the Beatitudes... Mm -hmm. This is what has been confined. It has been fused together and molded in one. That is the lost prayer. The lost prayer. Okay. And we know with the Beatitudes, mm. the first principle is blessed are the poor, poor in, spirit, in spirit, for yeah. theirs is the kingdom of mm. heaven. Mm. Mm. But with the Christian, let me say the Christian fraternity mm -hmm. that we have today. Oh, yes. Christians' minds. Mm -hmm have been infested with Akikan Kekan. Wow. And the same thing happened in the days of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Before Jesus adjourned onto the mountain uh -huh. to give the sermon on the yes, mount, yes. there were a lot of multitudes yes, yes. who were rich in mm. their spirit. In spirit. Their minds were infested with negativity. Mm. Their mm. hearts mm. full of spiritualism, mm. spiritism, spiritism, even in That's their serious. intuitions. Yes. It was being corrupted with superstition, oh, philosophy. Wow. Wow. These were the class of people that Jesus met. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he spoke about you being poor in yes. the spirit. Poor in the spirit. This is the same message Stephen Adum Chedia, the voice of God, is giving. Why? Because mm -hmm. Christianity yes. or a Christian mm -hmm. is someone who is like unto Christ. Wow. Wow. Someone who is just like, like Christ. Christ. Mm. Mm. Did we ever hear mm -hmm. or is there any records mm. that Jesus had a gun, mm. an invisible <laughs> gun, and he was shooting, uh, killing, uh, killing his enemies? enemies. Mm. Pay. Hey. No. Back to sender. Back to sender. Jesus thought about being poor in the in spirit. spirit. So if you are a man of God, mm. a leader, a shepherd mm. to be precise, mm. and then you call yourself being chosen by our Lord Jesus Christ, yeah. sent by him, mm. and you are firing guns at midnight, killing enemies, even leading the entire church, mm. 
this evening when you are coming we will have a war night on friday yes put on black black, black if black. you if you have black and red mm. put it on yes and nibra we are burying our enemies yes. imagine mm. a man of god called by Lord Jesus Christ. What's the ministry Christ. in this nation like that though? That every Friday prayer service, they all put on red red. I, and now that, that ministry, I don't see where it is. <laughs> hey! Where was it? It was in a crowd and it, it later on came to Kumase. Mm. Oh, I don't, I'm on air. I would have mentioned it for you. <laughs> it wasn't easy. Hold, Hold your peace. Hey, it got to a time they were buying the Kojan, you know. <laughs> Ghanaians. They, they were rushing for the yeah, black the and red. The went so It wasn't easy went in up. Accra. Uh, the ah. went up. <laughs> you know, this is I why see. the entire Christendom must humble themselves mm. to learn from the man who is filled with wisdom and insight, mm. knowledge into the things of God. Stephen Adum Chedia, the voice of God. Mm. Why? Because mm. he has made himself poor in the spirit poor, poor in the spirit okay. meaning that mm -hmm. you know nothing else apart from apart the almighty, from almighty god. god no matter if the situation even gets tougher mm. <laughs> mm. the only resource that you have is it's god. god whether life or dead whether you are dead mm. or alive mm. it is only god. your god that you as know. the muslims who say Allah yes. i don't know if i've said it yeah, right yeah yeah they don't know anything there's apart no from other god apart from allah Yes. That's what they say. And, and even they, when they see a dead person or they, they see someone in an accident, the hmm. first thing they say is, Allah work bad. Allah is the greatest. <laughs> That's the first thing. Even when they are committing crime, Allah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is how it is. They are resolute in their faith. Yeah. 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 They are always standing firm. <laughs> it's serious. So, with us Christians, mm. As today, Stephen Adam Chida, the voice of God explained, he said that with the beatitudes, this is just a visa mm. for you to enter into the Christian nation, mm. the mm. country called Christianity. Christianity. And when you enter that country, you yes. need a work permit, mm. a green card, a green card, something to, to let you let me say stay permit stay, yeah, in yeah. the country to give you permanent stay permanent stay mm. so that you can operate work here mm. and there and as then a you citizen. Know, as a citizen wow for you to even enjoy mm. the benefit the, the rights of the citizens yeah yeah and yeah. with this green card that is the lost the prayer. prayer so those wow. who let me say the immigrants day when you are leaving for work mm. you would have to take your documentation mm. so maybe supposing you meet uh, the, the police the on the police way they will check your document yeah, check your document and if you don't have documents oh yeah <laughs> so we have some there let me say overseas mm. the only chances is that they will be arrested oh yes and then deported. Day, and deported mm. so if you're a christian who did not go through the mm. right path mm. the main gate mm being poor in the spirit mm. you are that christian who is always complaining mm. ah, after taking christ after accepting our lord jesus christ in fact things are getting worse mm. very tough mm. ah i don't i thought after taking jesus christ this akikanki camp people which is in my family will be shattered down but the, the the severity of my plight is always increasing oh what sort of Christianity is this? So we have people lamenting and then, in fact, always complaining. Why? Because they don't have their green cards. Today, Stephen mm -hmm. Adinche, the mm -hmm. voice of God said, this is the Christ card. Yeah. So when you, when you enter into the country, you need your Christ card. Mm -hmm. And that is the Lord's prayer. Mm -hmm. Which, when you are reciting, mm -hmm. you would must mm -hmm. see yourself yeah. in those words. Mm -hmm that wow. whatever wow. word you recite mm. it should be this kind of it should create that mirror image mm. for you to say no no mm. i'm just reciting what i do wow wow but wow. if it doesn't match then you would be that immigrant <laughs> without proper documentation that's that's that deep, before that's deep. because uh that, that we just wanted the lost prayer without knowing that uh, it is hmm. something that is more like the proper documentation for you to be able to enjoy the benefits of that very land or nation you find yourself yeah. until the voice of god Stephen and doing children brought it out uh, okay uh let, let's move on let's move on actually do you have something to 
touch on before we move on and then look at the quotations. Mm. Yeah, also, yeah, according uh -huh. to Sebadum Chedia, you know, because of this attitude kind of Christians, yeah. we are saying we are Christian, but we still believe that the other powers or other beings apart from God, mm. we are not being loyal. Our spirits are not loyal to the Supreme God. Mm. Because of that, when we die, we don't make heavens. We don't make mm. So mm. the path mm. to heaven is very bushy. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And he is now clearing it for mm. the Philadelphians. Mm. So we mm. should pay heed and allow ourselves mm. to be pruned to be pruned and prepared so that when That's we serious. die yeah, we can we'll make it merit heaven let me mm. add and just a little yes. finish, if you please. don't go to heaven don't blame him <laughs> don't blame my dog don't blame my dog wow yeah okay so yeah. it just reminded me of what Stephen and the voice of god said that mm. even with the apostles creed yeah it has lost track yeah mm -hmm. the true christian standards mm. what mm. jesus christ mm. lay, put in place mm. In his era, it has disappeared. It has disappeared. Yeah, yeah. You can't even trace it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes, the apostles. So if he's, the, if the he's saying that no one has apostles, made it to heaven, it's, it's as at now, it's gone. In fact, we must bear to this gospel truth. It's not about just the reciters that some people do recite. <sighs> I believe in the twelve apostles. Then, 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 then. That is all. No, <laughs> it is about their teaching, their Jesus. doctrines, their beliefs, and then doing as they do. As they did. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Beloved in Christ is getting interesting and that woman in here. You have the opportunity to send your messages to our WhatsApp number. That's 0241-775-009. So you can also forward your WhatsApp messages for us to read it out. You can also call on 0201 So you'll be uh, in no time you will Activate our phone lines for you to also bring it in. Now, if you are in Amstead, that is Akenten, Apiaminka University, <laughs> Akenten, sorry, it is Akenten, Apiaminka University of Skills and uh, tech, uh, train, Skill Training and uh, Entrepreneurship Development. I think this, this name, uh, you just have to short it and go to Amstead. <laughs> yes, that's what we say, Amstead. <laughs> Akenten, Apiaminka. <laughs> University <laughs> of Skills, Training, and Entrepreneurial Development. Yes. If you're a student over there and it's environs, then there's a good news. What do we say that there's a good news? Firo Camp is now established in that campus. Wow. When we talk about Firo Camp, we're talking mm. of Philadelphia Royals Campus Ministry. Mm. Now we have a branch yeah. in Amsterdam. Mm. And next week, Sunday, is going to be their maiden meeting. And the venue is TL3 of TL block. Uh, so those in the uh, student community and then the university community, mm. just the lecturers, they all know of this place. When you talk of TL3, they know TL3 over there. So make time to meet us, come and fellowship with us. And I know your life will never be the same. And uh, if you are in KNUST and uh, it's environment or the community KNES if you're a student if you are a lecturer then you are looking for our new place of worship we are now in the Republic Hall Republic Hall Chapel that is where we are we are now in the center or the heart of the university many people went to our old place and then they couldn't meet us so now that is where we are meeting make time with us and I know the Lord shall richly bless you Wherever you are, get closer to any fuel calm movement around you and I know or nearest to you. And we know that Lord shall surely bless you. Okay. Now, Mr. Fokker, let's move on. The Lord's Prayer. You've, you've made us to understand that the Lord's Prayer is a card. It is a documentation that everyone needs in order to be able to live in the Christian world, in the nation or the kingdom of Christ. So then let us know how come this... Uh, uh, constitution or this this documentation will help us to stay over there so let's look at the uh, the quotation from matthew chapter 6 verse 9 verse 9 yes. okay matthew chapter 6 verses 9 yes please after this manner thereof mm. pray ye our father which art in heaven mm -hmm. hallowed be thy name mm. thy kingdom come mm -hmm. thy will be done on earth okay now, now let's let's take it uh, bit by bit let's okay. look at it. it said our father which art in heaven hallowed be, be thy name let's take let's take the part one a and b now uh our father which art in heaven 
It speaks volumes. Let me come to Auntie Dorothy. Uh, you are a parent. And for that matter, for someone to point to or for you to be able to call someone as your father, then it means you bear close resemblance. Yeah. So Christians, as we keep on reciting this, do we bear that close resemblance to our mm. father in heaven? So, And if our father is the one in heaven, then how should we carry ourselves? Thank you once again, Mr. Mwako. You're welcome. According to Stephen Adam Chid, you are the voice of God. If we claim that our father is the one who is in heaven, mm. then we should not have any other uh, being or whatever elsewhere. Mm. We should not believe in anything apart mm. from God. Just as we said. You can't have any other father. Any other father. Or mm. anywhere. Mm. Mm. How can one person have so many fathers? fathers? Then you are a bastard. <laughs> yes. Your mother couldn't tell you who truly your father your was. Your father was. So you yeah. have so many fathers. So many And fathers. who will take responsibility of no you? No one. Just like a, a, a man that is having so many wives. If mm. you are not careful, you go hungry. Yeah, exactly. Yes, because... Uh, of course, you are think Ama will cook, uh -huh. and Ama also think Ya will cook. Before you are where nobody cooks for you. Uh -huh. So if you are uh, la that type of child yeah. who is having so many fathers, mm. then nobody takes care of you because oh, okay. Khan will think that oh, you said the Supreme God will take care of you. Mm -hmm. Supreme God says I'm, I don't know you. I don't know you because me. I said I'm a jealous God. Mm. I don't need any other apart from me apart from so me. don't worship yeah. any other. Wow. And you say you wow. will worship. Wow. So I won't take care of you, mm. and you go hungry. So if you believe that your father is in heaven, then be loyal to him. Be loyal. And when something happens to you, don't think of it's someone who is bewitching you. Mm. They have mm. cursed me. Who mm. has cursed you? Mm. So if your father is in heaven, mm. who uh, cursed you? Mm. Even when we bring it to our worldly life, yes. if you are uh, the son of, excuse me to say, Otiko Koso. Otiko Otunfo. Otunfo. <laughs> who will come near you to harm you no one you feel so protected yes and yes. you feel so satisfied ah, you don't yeah. like anything mm. so why do you have to be afraid and take fear so as a prince when you come home and there's no protected. food mm. you only ask your father you how see, come there's no food you, whenever you go there's food for you wow. you don't even ask wow you are pampered mm. but here is the case we we have so many fathers mm. We mm. don't, we don't, we are not loyal to that father we are claiming of having in heaven. Wow. So, should anything happen to us, we think of somebody bewitching us, somebody behind our problems mm. here and there. Yeah. And we entertain that fear of being attacked by evil mm. spirits. Then mm. you are not secured. Mm. So, you have even belittled that father you, ha you, are, wow. you think you are having. Wow. And you said, hello be his name. Yes. Do we hello our father's mm -hmm. name? Mm -hmm. Do we purify the name? Mm. Do we sanctify the name mm. with our deeds, mm. with our, 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 our behavior, yeah. our manners? What do we do? Something that is you are hallowing. It means it's a valuable sort of asset or yeah. valuable sort of what mm. item, and you need to handle <coughs> it mm -hmm. with all care and respect. Wow! If wow. you have a valuable uh, may say necklace. Necklace. How do you treat it? Okay. Or even clothing. You want to get a new car. How do you treat hmm. it? When you put if on you a are white not careful cloth. And even your 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 child what? even uh, touches, touches it. it. If you are not careful, you ah! you especially when it's white. <laughs> hey, yes. you make it dirty. You, you make just it dirty. wash it. White hmm. car and a white dress. You see. <laughs> so we are not hallowing our father. Hmm. We are not purifying ourselves. We are not doing anything to portray that hmm. our father is holy. Yes. We go through all sort of life. Mm -hmm. When they are going, we are also there. Yeah. When they are coming, we are among, we are them. among them. There's no distinction. There's no distinction. Mm. Then we turn ourselves. Papa said, and at the end of the day, you recite the the, uh, Lord's, the Lord's prayer. prayer. Mm. Sometimes you have even recited it in the morning before you went about. Then you doing, went into the fields doing the evil. <laughs> Anything <laughs> you are doing, you are rather hailing witches mm. witches every mm. time is about witches mm. and he said men of god those who said they they go to the spiritual realm to uh -huh. see things uh -huh. you recite the lost prayer mm. and then you come back so you are seeing things in the spiritual realm you can't and see where your father is under the sea uh -huh. and people's families are witches mm. and so like mm. you are always mm. testifying about witches wow. why are you part of them <laughs> <laughs> or they have contracted you. No, it, it, means, it means that's where his father is. Yeah. I think you, you said that last week. Mm, yes. Yeah. So yeah. if that is 
where you belong, then you stop mingling yourself with mm. uh, the father in heaven in you are talking heaven. about. You don't even go, you don't to go recite mention it. it. Yeah. That is why Sadadun Chedia said, when you are reciting the Lord's Prayer, do you see yourself in, in it? it? How do you find yourself? How do you find yourself? Mm. What is your position in it? Wow. It is, so it's an obligation, not just reciting it. At all. It gives you a work to do. A work to do. responsibility mm. to portray that father in mm. your life, in mm. your attitude, in your, in your attitude. utterances. Wow. wow. Anything that comes from your word should hallow the name. Should hallow Should the purify name. the name. Mm. Not mm. hallowing witches mm. and hailing them. Wow. That's who provided they exist. Mm. Mm. That's even serious. You see? <laughs> so if you are... That's why the Muslim thing comes in here. That they don't have time for those things. It yeah, reaches it. Yeah, that's it. That. Yeah, no. Whatever that happens to them, Their Allah. faith is resolute. Anything yeah. that happens, Allah. Fair. So, Sivadun Chedia, the voice of God this afternoon, said that. What kind of Christians at all are we having? Mm. Mm. Now, it's even, even with the idol worshippers, the, or the moment the person falls sick, they say, hey, it will be the no. God. The God. Or the yeah. God. The yes. deity. Yes. The deity that has no, attacked. Yes. yes. Mm. Because you have offended it. How come Christians, and when Muslims, we are sick, when anything that happens is Allah, yes, and Allah is God, but how can we Christians, when something at first as we don't say it is no, our God, God, we have offended, then we start attributing it to others, it's serious, using people from our families, and we get men of God also helping us, it's, assisting it's us to we, we don't know the one we serve, that's we don't why. know, that yeah. is it, just like Paul saw to the unknown God. Yeah, you don't maybe, know, maybe, and maybe we don't we value it. Seven, one, one, or no. We don't know, we don't know. because we don't know, we don't also value it. Yes, yes. Okay, Mr. Fokwa, uh, a, a quick one, and then you continue to read the next okay. quote. Okay, uh, all right. Um, Jesus Christ said, As it is day, mm. I must do the work of Him who have sent who me. Have sent me, yes. Um, if you know your father, mm. Mm. then you must do the work of your father. Mm. Mm. through your character through your character your character must truly show that in fact mm. your father is that which is in heaven mm -hmm. and with this father of yours yeah it is written that he does not share mm -hmm. his glory with any other any other that's serious so as a man of god mm -hmm. i want to tackle the aspect yeah getting the opportunity to meet him mm. A child of God, a member that has come to you for, let me say, counseling. Counseling. For prayers. Or for mm. prayers. Mm. What are the utterances mm -hmm. or what are some of the words that comes out of your mouth mm. to the same child of God? Mm. Mm. If God, your Father in heaven, does not share his share glory, his glory a jealous God. If God presents someone who is severely ill mm, to you, mm. then it should tell you that it's because of his glory. Mm. That is why he has made mm. this child of his sick. Yeah. Because it is written in Deuteronomy 32, verses mm. 39, 39, that yeah. I wound and I heal. And I heal. Wow. I kill mm. and I bring back to life. Yeah. yeah. He does all this mm -hmm. just to glorify his name. Mm -hmm. To but show his power to show his mm, power mm, and his authority mm, mm. but some men of god in fact they have directed the path mm. to spiritual realm okay to witches okay and it's like they don't want god is the alpha they want to stample mm. upon the alpha mm. they want to bury the alpha the alpha and this is what has brought wailing mm. crying in the heavens mm. this is why god the father in heaven is always crying okay so if you call yourself a child of god mm. meaning your father is in heaven mm -hmm. and you don't glorify his name mm -hmm. As a man of God, because he has given you that opportunity to glorify his name through what he, God himself, has started. So if someone comes to you and then you redirect or you point, let me say, you, you change the direction to mm. that of spiritual realm. Mm. Then it means you don't have any regard, don't have any, any regard. reverence, wow. any respect wow. for your father who That's is serious. in heaven. It's serious. Mm. How can you confess that it is your father who is in heaven? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. 
then it means you have not sanctified his name. You have not sanctified his name. You belong to the spiritual realm, and that is where you would be. Mm. You belong to the witches' camp. As my mom said, I don't know whether they have hired you <laughs> to speak for them. Yes, because yes. that's why you lead the faith and the mind. That is why you are sharing every yes. faith, every yes. spirit too. You no. make people to know that it has some power over there. So at this day, you mm. are doing the work of your father in the spiritual realm. He that not sent your, you. He wow. that sent you, wow. not your father who is in He's heaven. In heaven. That's so serious. men of God, this is the main reason why you must open your eyes mm. to see mm. into the deeper revelations that God, through Stephen Adunchida, the voice of God, he is unveiling mm. Mm. unto the Christendom. So let, let's find out, did Jesus Christ also encounter such problems? Of some he of did. And what did he say? Ah, yeah. Jesus encountered a man who was born blind. Yes. There were a lot of negative sayings about the situation. Mm. Mm. It is coming from his father's side. Wow. The, I, I think the, 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 mother, the mother has side, seen yes. the mother's side. Mm, they have seen that. Is they have seen that is why. In the Bible. In the Bible. And wow. these words mm. or this final judgment, let me say judgment, mm. came from the people of the Sanhedrin, mm. the high priest. Mm. I saw for them, the pastors. The people around. The people around. Wow. They, no, they introduced that kind of knowledge, knowledge into, the into the people. Because around. they didn't Thank know you. anything okay. about that. Okay. It okay. came from the pastors. The pastors. As it is happening today, mm. the mm. children of God are very vulnerable. Like they don't know anything. Mm. A man of God directing them to the spiritual realm. Ah. What did Jesus say? Mm. Oh, this man has been born blind so that the glory of my father shall be made manifest here on earth. It's not easy. Oh. Stephen Adum Chede, the voice of God, will tell you, you are sick. It is God who made you so. Mm. She niho. Mm. Go and come mm. back with a testimony. Mm. And indeed, you will go and come back with a testimony. Is it talking of this? Just brought something into my recently. A colleague went for a funeral. Mm. And then at the funeral, he had drinks alcoholic drinks mm. and then he he drank as many as he can because it was free <laughs> foreign drinks and then just after he was drunk mm -hmm. he fell down and then suffered stroke <sighs> now instead of the pastor who visited at the hospital to pray for him to tell him because of your stupidity this yes, all this yes. no, said no, no, yeah. your, stupidity. your foolishness that is what he said mm -hmm. because he went to the funeral in his hometown and 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 they, <laughs> someone has looked upon him with an evil eye ah. Abba. so no so if the person should be restored do you think you will desist from that stupid behavior ah. of drinking to stupor like i i i i just don't no, get it because he has not been exposed to the truth the truth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so 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 uh, it, it's true that they are those filling our heads and our minds with days uh, ideas as you say so as i was saying men of god some men of god should open their eyes very wide else they are battling god himself mm. because mm. you are trying to snatch away yeah. Yeah. god's glory from god's his glory hands from him. Mm. god has given you a lot of opportunity yeah, yeah. he gave you that platform mm. Mm. so that you can use that platform wow to glorify his name but what did you use those wow. platforms for mm, mm, mm. you use them to fill your pockets wow you use these same platforms in fact to to stample upon the the glory and image of god men mm. so please men of god if god has elected and sent his chosen to open us let me say to expose the truth unto us mm. Mm. Let's humble ourselves. I'm saying it again. Let's humble ourselves and then accept the word of truth. Wow. It will truly help us. It will truly help us. Now, okay, let's continue with uh, the next. The next. Yes. Verse. Okay. The verse 10. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. The next one. Okay. Verse 11, give mm. us our daily bread. Okay. Okay. So, so let's look at it. Give us our daily bread. Yes. Uh huh. Give us this day our daily bread. Yeah. Yes. Give us now, this day our daily bread. Okay. So 
the first the, the next one after you follow the name is this thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come thy will be done on oh, earth yes. as it is in heaven <laughs> well Mr. Mr. Fokka, let, let me come from your mm. angle before I, I move on to antidority it says thy kingdom come when you talk of kingdom the voice of god made us to understand that kingdom has got to do with authority yeah. every kingdom executes power and then authority then the next one goes on to say that I will be done on earth as it is in heaven so it means that whatever happens to me is the will of the father yeah. then how come i'm able to apportion blame again <laughs> mm. <laughs> thank you very much okay you know um this speaks clearly that the father we have been confessing mm -hmm. is not the one which is in heaven okay if truly your father is that which is in heaven mm. then your daily activity your duty your daily services to him would mm -hmm. be you hallowing his name wow. sanctifying his name purifying his name mm -hmm. and with that when you prepare this sort of grounds mm -hmm. then you can operate the authority of god his kingdom would definitely come down so if we have let me use Stephen Adventure, the voice mm -hmm. of God as a very good example if today in our era and then what is actually going on in our dispensation today mm. if we have someone who has been able to pull down the glory of God on this earth one perfect example is Stephen Adventure, mm. the voice of mm. God because mm. if what you would see on second chance TV will actually blow your mind the testimonies, the numerous testimonies, even with the last testimony that we just showed, yes. the woman with breast cancer. Breast cancer. How can you just speak? Mm. You are free. Hmm. Go through your faith, apply the prayer, prayer material. materials. Yes. <laughs> just and like that. You never had direct contact no. with the man of God. No. <laughs> you know, these are some women who sat by their TVs. Their TVs. And mm. during the TV ministrations, mm. Mm. they just through their faith apply the prayer materials, and mm. then let's mm. see these mm. huge testimonies that they wow. have harvested wow. for the kingdom of God. That's serious. So, as I was saying, if there's this man mm. who is pulling down the kingdom of God here on earth, yes, it's only Stephen Adum Chedia, the voice of God, as mm. I know by now, and That's it's true. only him, the last bus. <laughs> the last bus wow so <laughs> <laughs> you know where the aki can mm. mm. they would come you know and um, let me say the church should be frank with themselves yeah yeah, yeah. we have been to the aki churches mm. the negative saying churches the nazis mm. You would pray and pray and pray. Let me say, you even pray for 15 good years, always killing your enemy. Mm -hmm. But you will still be at square zero. There wouldn't be any improvement. We have some who have, in fact, lived with this devastating source ah, for ah. so many years. Oh. But each time when you visit, let me say, the church, your pastor will tell mm -hmm. you that, you know, this time around they have changed, they've, they have changed the method your leg has not been turned into a chopping board anymore this time around this is where they have been fetching their soup mm, mm, they will mm. always give you stories mm, mm. and your wound will mm -hmm. continually get to the worst stage wow these are people because some of them heard about the kingdom of god which was being spoken out of the mouth of stephen adun the voice of god mm -hmm. and then they using the green card of Stephen Adun Chedia has been able mm -hmm. to enjoy the authority which is the kingdom of heaven wow. wow and now we are seeing a lot of testimonies on second chance tv that's serious okay actually let's look at it uh that will be done on earth as it is in heaven that is the <clears throat> point that i want us to hammer because every now and then we pray this prayer and then we say father let your will be done in our <laughs> lives yet anything we face as christians as believers we we, we accuse people we blame mm, people mm, and even the mm, we, we don't blame our mm, father in heaven or we don't ask him why but we tag 
anyone that is eight, 60 years and above in our family. <laughs> For those people, and those who have their teeth falling because of hardship <laughs> and other things, ah, and they will tell you that in the mm. night, the way they break bones with those. Mm. <laughs> So that's, it just beats my understanding how a toothless person and they'll tell you in the spiritual <laughs> realm they have they have long teeth sharp like that teeth. of the the, the, the cannibals you know yeah. they have sharp teeth <laughs> you see us. Thank uh, you, please educate so educate good. listeners and the viewers you see it's because of the kind of christians we are mm. we call ourselves christian but you look looking at it we are not because mm -hmm. we did not pass through the main gates we came through the windows and mm -hmm. some up here ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we don't understand what is meant to be a Christian. Wow. And wow. for that matter, we don't know the one we are following. Mm. Mm. Other than that, whatever that happens to us, we attribute it to him and him alone. We will not apportion blame. Mm. So Stephen Adim Chedia, the voice of God said that, if indeed the Father in heaven, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm wall alone should be done why is it that somebody dies and mm -hmm. you want to look at people's faces <laughs> and start apportioning blame and because of your attitude it looks as if people are not are now afraid of aging mm. Mm. they don't yes. want to grow very yes. old yes. because they are afraid they that is why they always go for the hair dye <laughs> to pay the hair. they don't want the gray hair again <laughs> Because when they see you wrinkling like that and yeah. uh, with that face and then with Your no teeth, teeth falling off. Ah. <laughs> then you are a witch already. Oh, yes, you are a wizard. You are a wizard. Especially wizard. the women. Hmm. Especially when you are poor. <laughs> For me, I've never seen any, any rich, rich woman. <laughs> educated rich woman who is labeled as a, a rich before. <laughs> Only the poor ones. Somebody, somebody will tell you that. Have you ever heard... The rich man's uh, uh, mothers being tagged as witch. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, so educated rich <laughs> women, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and then for them to be tagged as witches. And, oh, and it's a unless the one who has been beaten by the harsh realities of life, mm -hmm. yeah. and then the body has wrinkled because she suffered mm. a lot. Mm. And instead of you to give them <laughs> peace of mind, we add that one to it. Wait. They are bedding. <laughs> we kill them. We kill them early. <laughs> You know, uh, it's all easy. because we have been misled mm. right from the onset. That's true. That's why I said that Dim Chedua this afternoon said that. Mm. It's difficult to psych and mm. remove this Akikatoin from a Ghana man. Oh. Because right from the mm. onset, even it when you were blood. in the womb, it is in there. They started taking some concussions yeah. on you because of Akikatoin. Mm. Okay. When oh, you were brought out, the same thing. They will tie something around your wrist, a <laughs> uh, chameleon, yeah. to, to, to prevent this uh, convulsion or whatever mm, it is. I don't mm, know. Mm. They will be buffing you with concussions. When they are naming you, naming ceremony, naming ceremony they will tell you a whole lot of things. Yeah. <coughs> you see, inviting other uh, spirits according to them. Hmm. So right from the onset, it has been, you have been soaked mm, in it. Mm. And it's part of your blood, part of your system. So it's difficult for a Ghana man to believe that there's nothing. So anything that happens, if you are not careful, somebody will attain the age of 200 years. Mm. The person will die and mm. so we are, we'll apportion the blame to someone mm. killing the fellow. Oh, yes, yes. Oh. 200 years. 200 years. So Even 100 in Ghana, years. nobody dies a natural death. No. 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 If you are a small boy, mm. if a young mm. one dies, mm. it's a mm. witch. And Even when you commit a suicide, him, somebody ah. committing suicide. That one too, yes. They push him. <laughs> oh yes, they have pushed him to commit that suicide. Yes. That is what they will tell yes, you. That's what they say. Yes, mm. the agent dies to the same. Mm. So it's like mm. Mm. It, it, it's part of us. Our feelings, our intuition, our instincts, everything declares clearly that there's something, something or some uh, being somewhere. Apart from God, so mm. we have to attribute our, our, our problems to Him instead of apportioning it to the Father who is in heaven, mm. and his, uh, his will alone should be done. If we understand it very well, and we just not uh, what a matter of reciting it for uh, reciting sake, and we understand the concept deep down as mm. we are being taught now, yeah. we wouldn't have done that. Whatever that happened will be like the Muslims. Mm. If it's good today, 
Mm. That one, we thank God, uh, God has eh, got to. Eh. When the, well, the, the evil bitterness before comes, us, yes. then hey. it's somebody. We denounce God. Mm. Yes. Mm. You see, that's why Sir Dadu Chedia said that the businessman, when it's booming for him, then the rate of turnover mm. is high. Mm. They yeah. said, Abain. Nah, if he goes down to ah, Abain. Ah, so, yes. uh, mm. Abain have made the system so hard that people mm. are not buying mm. and they are patronizing their products. Mm. Mm. So we mm. fail to give glory to God. And that is why we cannot put our blames also on him. Yeah, okay. Do we even uh, respect his existence? Existence. Mm. Because wow. he said, when you read further, that is why Papa said that the beatitude is like a chip yeah. that is inserted in the lost no. prayer. Okay. Now, so so the, the, the lost prayer, the beatitude has been summarized. Yes. Into yes. The lost, the lost prayer. prayer. Okay. But so if you were not able to go through mm. The, the poor in spirit, the, the beatitude world. Yeah. This is your action and this mm. is your attitude. You cannot, you can you never cannot, be. You can never. Yes. Okay, true Christian. You can never be a, Christ, a true Christian, let alone to be loyal to your God. Mm. So anything that happens to you, you go to church, all right. Mm. And when we go to church, what do we do? Aye. You'll be shooting and praying and, 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 and killing yeah. and those yeah. things. Yeah. Thinking that somebody mind. is an enemy. Mm. The person must mm. die before you mm. progress mm. or mm. succeed in life. That's serious. It means whatever that is happening, you are going through mm. or is happening to you, you don't want to attribute it to God. Yeah. So his, uh, his will will not be done for you. Wow. If it's, uh, whether it's good or bad, whatever happens to you, you have people, you are pushing the blame. Hmm. Yes, so you have no God in your mind. Okay. It's with our mind that we worship we the God. We confess God. Our heart is far, is far away, away from, yes, as the Bible says. So he says, as it is in heaven. Mm. As it is in heaven, it mm. means we should surrender everything totally to him. Yes. According mm. to Sivna. Because Chaya. heaven is only the will of the Lord that precedes. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So if that is the case, then you surrender everything mm. in totality mm. to mm. him. Mm. Without thinking and bothering yourself about what to eat tomorrow, mm. what to drink, yeah. what to clothe your bodies with. Wow. He takes care of that. He says the angels are there. Mm. Hosts of angels are there to yes. take care of uh, our situation or... Mm our knees mm. god will send them to bring our knees mm. provided we set ourselves apart, apart for him mm. so we don't have to bother ourselves struggle so much going here and there okay and just like he said the angel told the man that don't bow before me mm -hmm. because i'm also a messenger, I'm also a messenger, messenger like like yes right. and what is happening they are yes. bowing to god mm. every day every mm. now, now in heaven there mm. and what are we on earth also doing also doing, doing to god you also have to god. bow also to him to every bow to now me. and then and then worship yes. his uh omnipotence because that is what is happening in heaven yes so we are saying it should happen on earth mm. it means that is what we are also supposed, supposed to, do. to do is that what we are doing mm. Mm -hmm. we are rather following akeka, akeka. yes yes say um. yes say hmm. and he said as a child of god uh, as a, a fatherless child mm. who will be your mentor mm. because of our doings we don't have a father mm. Mm. We claim there's father in heaven, but he's not our father. Mm. Okay. So we don't have any mentor to follow. Okay. And that is why this is it Elis uh boy says it Elis children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Who, the prophet yes, Elis. The prophet Elis. Elis children. They also wanted to behave like Paul and uh, what Jesus and other other things do. Um, Papa said oh, they no, were no that no, no, no that, 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 that you are, are you talking about the New Testament. When when these people were following, uh they wanted to also do Miracles, but just as miracles Paul as and Paul Jesus. Was yes, Paul was doing. Okay, okay. That, 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 they were that's carrying the West all right. Yes, yes but different. their character mm -hmm. wasn't Christ-like. Okay, yeah. and they didn't also learn from Paul. So what mm. happened to them? Yes, that the was to tear them yeah, apart. apart. Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. You see, so that is what we have mm. become. Mm. We are mm. only mentioning God, calling mm. God's name with a mouth, mm. but our deeds mm. do not portray, does not portray that mm. there's any existence of God, let alone to worship and respect Him. So. He said the Sivna Dumcheria is saying that if you are a parent and you hear of your child being arrested for raping someone hmm. or smoking marijuana mm -hmm. or uh, stealing, how will you feel? Mm -hmm. Will you mm -hmm. be happy? Mm -hmm. So how come we are saying our father is in heaven? Mm -hmm. And what is happening happen, happen in heaven is happening on earth and we are drinking. We are cheating, mm. we are scamming, we are duping, taking mm. bribes, fighting, quarreling, fornicating, mm. doing all kinds of dubious things. Yet, we are saying 
what is happening in uh, on uh, on in heaven is mm -hmm. also happening in okay. heaven. Is that what is happening there? Okay. No. Hmm. So it's like we have a way of doing our own thing. Mm. Somebody said that Christianity is not any difficult thing. We have made it difficult because yeah. there's that flexibility. What is that flexibility? Mm. Unless you have your own commandment, okay. you are following. Okay. And not the Ten Commandments. Thank you very much. Unless you have your own flexibility. So, uh, what, what Auntie Dorothy was talking about is Acts chapter 19, verse 14 to 15. And, and, and he said, And there were seven sons of one server, a mm. Jew and a chief of the priest, which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are ye? And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So they were also sons of a high priest or a chief yeah. priest. Yeah. Yes. And it happened in the in the in the city of Ephesus. Okay. Thank you. Thank now you let's much. let's come to uh our WhatsApp messages. Let's let us read some messages. Now the first one. So please we are activating our lines 0241 seven seven five zero zero nine zero two four one seven seven five zero zero nine and then we are also opening our phone lines you can call on zero two zero one one six nine five one one zero two six six four nine four three eight five today the first message is coming from nagasti in obwas he says good evening philadelphia and i'm going today someone has really taught us a lesson so even the way we recite the lord's prayer and the things we say later makes us sin then I entreat Papa Adum to really intercede for us. So other than that, we are doomed. Philadelphia at the second call. So he says that even after reciting it and the things we do, it means that we continue to sin every now and then. So Papa, please continue to intercede for us. Adumo, I was down today because of today's message. I don't even know there is power in the Lord's prayer. Rather, I was breaking and losing all over all over at, back at my former church Stephen Adum Chedia the voice of God we salute you Linda the police woman from Pristia PWC hmm it's not easy today's Adumo today's service revealed that the voice of God is the same Stephen who was torn to death and has come back with the full force of heaven to explain the hidden truth in Christianity which was condemned by the then so-called men of God after the death of Jesus Christ and the disciples. We Philadelphia royals are too fortunate and should therefore pay key attention to the voice of God, emulating his simplicity, humility, and selfless life, for there is no alternative. In fact, the voice of God should be a case study for all Philadelphia royals because he is a total reflection of what he teaches. God bless Papa and all Philadelphia royals. Clement Ahime Nimfa in Kaswa. Brother Clement, I salute you. Adumo, today's message has really made me regain my dignity as a Christian by understanding what is contained in the Lord's Prayer. Glory be to God Almighty for blessing us with Papa, Ad Papa Stephen Adum Chedia to teach us what we did not know. Papa, take your four and Mama Melissa, take your two. Oh, please, next time, add your name and where the message is coming from. Hmm. Well, it's not easy. Uh, this one goes. It says, Evening, Daddy. Uh, it said, I am what? Be real. Now, God bless you all for your great teachings. I'm proud to be part of Philadelphia movement and he is from Medina so his name is Ghana be real wow <laughs> good evening Philadelphia movement my name is Charles Ahinefo from Tema I really enjoy your discussion of today's message but my worry is if the discussion this discussion were made in our local language then a lot of viewers and listeners would deeply understand you well god bless you all thank you that is his form of uh yes he says philadelphia that philadelphia yeah movement. now now my, my brother on the philadelphia movement on mondays that's what they first do mm -hmm. they make sure they sit down and then they talk or discuss about the sermon and that English. one uh 
brother Nicholas, brother Robert, and together with uh, Abraham, what, 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 yes, they sit down and then they break it down yeah. for you to also understand. Before they go on to showcase the performance of the gracious God and the Philadelphia movement. Mommy rose down so much. Let us clap for Papa Adam. I say nobody can take it from Papa Adam at all. This Akikakika, pastors, can you explain the Bible? Just one verse for us to understand. Papa Adam, no shaking. I do to Adamo, I know the Akakika men of God are listening and should be bowing their heads in shame. Hey, especially when they hear their congregants exposing the ordeals they mm. put them through yeah. because they know them. They should listen to the voice of God. Stephen Adun Chedia for the better. Becky in Upper West Region. God bless you. May God bless you too, Auntie Becky. Adumo Admarakwa. Ow. Our only senior lecturer has made it again. Papa Jiwutu. I am appealing to all pastors to do their handover from today going. <laughs> <laughs> to join Philadelphia movement. Because only the Lord's prayer teachings has made them ashamed of being called of, of calling themselves or pastors. Hmm. It is from Alasa Adumba Enusa in Ahafu Wahama Wamahinso. Wow. So, Pastor, I went to a watch is enough. It says, hand over. Now you have to hand over and come and join us. Adumo, may God continue to bless Papa for what he is doing for me and the whole world. I pray I also receive my healing one of these days because I'm very sick. This may be from Tamale. May you be healed according to your faith. Peter in a flower, Philadelphia, my brother. Papa is God himself. Hey, who has come as human being? It's what they say with Jesus. Who. <laughs> Papa is God himself who has come as human. We need to be very careful in our daily life. It is better we pay attention to him and follow his teachings very well. Other, otherwise, we are doomed forever. If we eat, it's God. To be able to walk is God. Whatever we do on this earth, it's him. So if all these are provided by God freely in our daily lives and we continue doing ungodly things, it's an insult to our God. My brother, we are joking with our lives. Mm. One day when we pass on, where exactly are we heading towards? God bless you. Brother Peter, the Lord bless you. It is a very deep message. It's a question to us all. Indeed, from today, my father will surely be in heaven. My father, which art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Philadelphia. And that's from Brother Matthew in Kuforidia. He says he's going to make sure that the name of his father, who is in heaven, is hallowed. The message is... Hmm. Uh, uh, producer, please, we are activating the phone lines too. So if there's any call, let us answer. Philadelphia, Holy Royals, in all our ways we have... A we acknowledge Christ. He will also make our path straight. That is why the Lord granted us the opportunity to become a perfect Christian because we acknowledge Him. Afterwards, He is now giving us our light. Is that our lightest service to make our paths straight and strengthen us in His glorious kingdom? We thank God for today's sermon. Adumba Marcus upon Amanqua. Mm. Okay, so Mr. Afonko, I'm coming back to the studio. Sure. Well, the messages are many. So I'm scrutinizing. I just want to make sure I take a uh, few and then leave the rest. Okay. Is a Papa Adum? Adum or Papa Adum never disappoint. I think he is Jesus Christ incarnate. And I'm from Marvel. Uh, I said... I'm, I'm marveled or I'm from marveled. Uh, <laughs> let us know. Yes, yes. Is that is Jesus incarnate? Hmm. I said, I do want, I'm really a victim of our past teachings, but I pray for God mercy and healing. And that's from Monica from Tamale. To me, say the message is, you know, but past teachings, when you listen to it, it's like someone punching you. Boom, boom, boom. I'm listening to you live. And second chance FM 102.1. This is Ernestina from Accra. Today I I was ashamed and I felt remorseful by the teachings of Papa Adam. Mm. That is what is coming through. Okay, Mr. Foka, let's move on. So give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. Now, from the quotation that you read, it means that for us to eat, it has to come from our father. Our father. 
Now let's look at it. Uh, now uh, there's many people are complaining that because they gave their parents or they visited their hometowns, they gave them money. That's why their businesses are not performing. Some are also blaming governors or the government. So many accusations, riches, they have drawed holes. But hey, God made us to understand that because we have to change God, that is why He had made holes in our purses. That's what the prophet Haggai said. So we do not have money. We gather, but everything goes amiss. But now, men of God are saying it is rather riches that has made holes in our purse and then in our palms. So let's look at it. If you are hungry, where is it coming from? And how can we even obtain our daily bread? Whom should we look up to? <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. You know, the same word of God mm. has said that don't think about what to eat tomorrow, what to wear. Meaning that God has all this already in advance. What you eat, he has already catered for it in advance. So he's saying, don't think about tomorrow. So if hardship befalls you, like as you just said, even here in our country, when there's hardship, who do we blame? We are blaming the government. Men of God will also direct you to witches in your family, mm -hmm. that they are the cause of your hardship. Mm. No. Mm. How do parents even treat mm. stubborn children? Mm. When your child is very stubborn, and would refuse to be corrected at times wow. you will try and then mm. put punish them, them punish yeah. them yeah yeah place them on the hard path oh yes maybe you are not eating this morning oh yes this evening you are you starve day. yeah those days you used to pump when you don't ah. pound sometimes you will come and then you meet your your cassava and then get plantain <laughs> unpounded <laughs> unpounded <laughs> when they do this and you continue to do so sometimes they can even pour the soup on it yeah just to punish you and to correct you so as a loving father, mm. he's realized that we are not giving reverence to him. We have no respect for him as our father in heaven. So what should we expect from him? Mm. As a loving father, he would put us through punishment mm. so that we will be aware of our sinful nature and then just repent. Wow. So when you are facing any hardship, Mm. With this quotation that give us our daily bread. Mm. Mm. If you did not receive your daily bread, who are you supposed to consult? Who are you supposed is it to not your father in your heaven? Father who is in heaven. Ah, that father I have heard. Mm. Oh, mm. just as Stephen Adunche, that the voice of God has been teaching mm. us. Just go on your knees, plead for mercy, and the Lord God will intervene on your behalf. So we have a lot, you know, on Second Chance TV, some who were confessing that, in hmm. fact, hmm. things were very bad. Very bad, yeah. In fact, they are, with their pockets. Times were tough, you know. Times were tough. Yeah. Yeah. They were living in bankruptcy. It's not easy. It's but not easy. after, in fact, knowing the hidden truth, mm. the undiluted mm. word, mm. and mm. then going on their knees, pleading mm. that, Father, mm. have, mercy. have mercy. Now, these Father. are the people building mansions, <sighs> buying those luxurious cars, luxurious and then cars. showing it on Second Chance Second TV. Second Chance TV. Second Chance TV. So, what I have learned mm. is that if you know whom your Father is, mm. that which is in heaven, mm. if truly you sanctify his name yeah pass through all these processes okay every blessed day yeah. he will give you a daily he will meal give you a daily meal thank you thank you Aunt Dorothy, uh mr Farquhar has made us to understand from the teachings of the voice of god that it is the responsibility of the father to give us daily meal and then when you position yourself as a good son then you are entitled to it uh what is it that um, Christians, we claim we are Christians. When you go to business centers, offices, many of them are Christians. They are elders in the churches. Don't they know or don't they recite this quotation? But they will tell you to bring a brown envelope. You have to scratch my back. Give uh, the, 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 all the things we do, you know, to make money because they know that they have to eat. They will tell you man must eat. 
and, and our brothers in black <laughs> They will tell you, oh God, what did you bring to me? I must eat now, you know? Mm. So, so uh, are we aware of this? If we are aware, why do we have to scam people? <laughs> do people for you money? Know, so, the voice of God is said that even after going through all the dubious acts, mm -hmm. we are not ashamed to go and hang a bigger cross around our neck. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the lost yeah, prayer yeah, again. Mm, 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 mm. I'll, I'll stop wearing my crucifix. <laughs> As if we are making mockery of God. It's not easy. You see, it's when we easy. say the daily bread, yeah. it entails. It entails a lot. It can be mm. your job, mm. Mm. your finance, your finances, yeah. your business, your health, your promotion, mm. your health, yeah. your marriage, mm. the fruit mm. of the womb, yeah. everything. Mm, mm. God is saying that He is supposed to provide. provide it. So if He is supposed to provide and He has not provided, why won't you go to Him and find out? What's your problem? Yeah. What's your problem? Oh. Mm. If you are hungry mm. and you go to your daddy or father, mm. do you mm. go with machete no. and guns and no. AK-47? No. no, you don't even go screaming. Daddy, I'm daddy give me money to go buy food. Give me money. He will slap you. <laughs> Daddy, please, I'm hungry. Yes. Mommy, please, I'm, I'm hungry. hungry. Yes. Then you'll be touched yes. to attend to the child. Mm. But if that is the case, where are we firing guns? Wow. Hmm. Where are wow. we shooting? Are you mm. killing Who people? are we shooting at? Mm. Is it God? Mm. Who is our enemy? Mm. Who mm. has caused us that hunger? He is the one supposed to provide. Okay. So if you are a father, you are supposed to provide for the family and you have not done that. Yes. It's you your children will look mm. up to. It's mm. you your wife will look up to. Yeah. He wouldn't turn to the other tenant and start fighting them. Mm. Co tenants around. Yeah. Fighting them, insulting them. Yes. Because there's no food on the there's table no for him, the, uh, for oh. her and the family. Wow. That is wow. what we have been doing wow. to God. Wow. And we are supposed to go to him. And because we don't know, fake men of God mm. also use it as a yastic to mislead mm. us yeah. and extort from us. Mm. Okay, they also need their daily bread. Where are they going to get it? Yes. Hmm. When they tell us lies, lies. false hmm. prophecies, that is where we we'll hurriedly go and bring out all that we, need, we, we, hmm. we have then, and give it then, to them. Even they're calling themselves men of God, they are wrong. Because if you are a man of God, then it is hmm. your, your son your of God. Your father should be your, father should your go. provider. So why are you digging from a packet? So because they are, they, they are also yeah. not getting understanding of hmm. the word or the, the sentence. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's why they are also misleading us. Mm -hmm. And so, if they don't change, they are surfaced. Wow. You see? Wow. So, if that is the uh, issue, you don't extort from your you don't extort from uh, your members. Yeah. Counseling fee. Mm -hmm. uh, so, on the so uh, a seed. ground, uh, what? A solid ground. So, a seed. Yeah, see sowing. See sowing is the order of the day. Buy oil. Mm. Do this. Mm. Exorbitant prices. Yes. 500. 1,000. This one is a a gem. Kwabi boy boy me oh yo twenty thousand. This one is finish him by force. Oh yes. So yes. ten thousand. Yes. You see people trooping. Oh, it's not easy. Especially it means the issue. man of God is also looking for the daily bread. It's not easy. Yeah. He is not trusting his God to provide. He's not trusting the God. He wants to feed the family. Mm -hmm. He wants to buy mm -hmm. one car. He mm -hmm. wants to put up mansions. So yes. he has to find and ways and means. means. Of getting it mm. from the members. Wow. So we have all deviated. Mm. The man of God has misled us. So we have all deviated. Wow. So if your father is in heaven, you mm. won't cut corners. You will not cut corners. To make ends meet. You will not ask smart people mm. to get your daily to bread. Get your daily you bread. will not sell things at high prices. Ah, so it sounds once. It's not easy. You will not cheat. You won't take bribe before the working. Men, they are killing us. Because you are paid at the end of the day. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you not at all cost uh -huh. ask people to put on a uh, word put down weight yes there must be weight on this mm. uh, document mm. else i won't work ah wait wait the that is what they got the brown envelope uh -huh. it's weight they call it weight wait you have put to, on uh, weight wow yes yes First, i cannot work I cannot on it work on it why because i'm hungry you see your father uh, some people uh, the controller and accountant department will intentionally Delete your, your 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 pay or whatsoever for the system, so and, they, and they will even call you. Sometimes they call you. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sitting. Someone will call. You, I'm seated by the machine. I've seen that you are supposed to be paid this amount, but uh, unless you give me this, I will not enter. Are you ready to do? You say yes. Then uh, okay, send me this one. You do it, and the next month it reflects. How? 
it, it is serious. So God ceases to be your provider. Mm. Now Madonna is your provider. Mm. So if you don't continue to provide, what will happen to maybe you get another Madonna, another Madonna. to delete the need. You get you get Mr. Falk. Yes. yes. That's what you will not get me. <laughs> <laughs> so when you mm. go through all that, your Azam way of getting money, mm. scamming uh -huh. or getting uh -huh. money, your 419, mm. Mm. stealing, mm. robbing, and all that, mm. when you are done with it, then you go and hang one big uh, uh what? Uh Cross, is it the crucifix? Yeah, the crucifix. Yes, the uh -huh. crucifix on your neck, mm. reciting the, the Lord's prayer. prayer. You are not even ashamed it's of serious. doing that. It's serious. It's serious. You see, listening to the voice of God, Stephen I don't teach, do I always teach or preach. It, it, it exposes the weakness, yeah. the darkness in us. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And then you keep asking yourself, uh, uh, where were these teachings all this mm -hmm. while? Mm -hmm. So we was, are all, you, you see that you are lost. We all for yeah. sure. Look at today at the church. Yes. The place was just quiet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Later on, because uh, I, I don't know. As for me, I saw myself in it. The Bible yeah. says we are all we have all sinned. All yeah. sinned come to, I don't know if, if, the glory if of the Lord. someone yes. here had not sinned and had not fallen short to what was happening. Because we were all blind then. It's not easy. Yeah. Look at the so things. So I don't mean should forgive all of us. It's serious. As we are Listening, listening and learning, yeah. learning from, from his servants, from yes, the eye opener. Okay, L let me go to the phone lines, read some the last part of messages, and then I'll come to you. It says, Uh, good evening, my name is Steven Ajokachi from Obuase. May God bless you with your work done, and may God bless Father Stephen Adun Chilia. Today is my uh, it says, it's my message. Uh, today's message, I'm very happy, and then. It was my first time I went to the church in Obuase to fellowship with them. And I was so happy. And I believe that as I sat there, I set my foot over there, new things are going to come to my life. And my life will never be the same. Amen. Wow. He said the atmosphere in Obuase was so uh, filled uh, with joy. So he was happy. Thank God. He said, Adumo, over 20 years of just reciting our father, Hey. and with no honor but now i will pray it and leave it well with dignity second chance indeed fidelia from new abraham i like the second chance indeed and i said kenya ha won't you know baby wow adumo papa has already taken over the world other pastors have started prescribing the philadelphia prayer materials to members god is still doing the underground works for papa and his joy from tema wow 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 it says uh hmm. oh wow someone says uh, uh even i am uh he said, I am part of the Catapult branch and I'm over 50 years. Uh, I'm grateful for everything. But he says to Mr. Fuqua, I like the way you teach. And then as old as I am, I want you to be my role model. The way he speaks and even explain the Bible. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, Adumo, I'm a racist from Adenta Accra. We are very lucky to have heard of Papa. I plead to everyone to listen to Papa and change our lives because the Antichrist has really stolen us. Mm. Mm. Adumo, today to Papa Adumo has done it. In fact, let us all listen to the voice of God very well and it will help us in our lives. Thank you, Papa. Jiwutu, I'm a fire Albert from Atebubu. Papa Jiwutu. Mm. Adumo, I'm enjoying today's teachings. It's too much. The teaching is exposing us from our darkness. We are too entangled with the darkness, but Papa is here to redeem us all from the wrong path. This is total overhauling. That's serious. Total overhauling. Papa, the best teacher to the world. God bless you and strengthen you in, in every endeavor to know more from you to enlighten us to choose the right path from George Kumade inside a flower diamond cement. Adumo. Brother George, we thank you for this message. Hey, hey, in fact, uh, okay, let me do the last two and then uh, I, I, I will stop because today they are coming. Uh, okay. Mm, okay. 
ഓക്കെ 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 ഫ്രോജീനാ Adumo Aduma la kwa o Philadelphia Oh today our lines our, our lines are troubling as that's why we were not able to receive calls in the first place but they worked hard uh, I know she can come through again Auntie Georgina if you're able to permeate through then I know that other callers will be able to come through let me come to Madam Dorothy uh, 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 oh sorry Mr Fokwa Rada I, I ended with Madam Dorothy let me come to Mr Fokwa uh, Mr Fokwa Let's look at it. Uh, before uh, the voice of God Stephen Adun Chedia ended on this note, though we were moving on to the next one about forgiveness, but let's wrap it all in a summary. Uh, how should we Christians live our life? How can the Lord's Prayer be a chip? How can it be a document for us to empower us to live our lives? Just a recap of it and then we, 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 we say bye-bye. You know a disciple in the Bible. Okay, please I think we have our, our another caller. Adumo. Oh. Adumo. Adumo Kokoro. Okay, Philadelphia. Adi Shikonkro. Please your name and where you're calling from. Oh, please my name is uh, brother Ellis calling from Gold City. Okay, okay, brother Ellis. Yeah. You welcome to Love for oh. the Prophet. Uh, Thank please, you, brother. Please learn from the voice of God. ഓക്കെ are we psyche your mind wow. and the more they do the more we love papa mo wow and you see wow. <laughs> um, the the lost boy another shallow it has exposed them wow and they, they don't know what to do anymore mm. so they should i mean tell their members not to listen to papa but it's not papa himself making us listen to you know mm. it's mm. the power of god himself making the us listen to papa you said it all so, yes to papa and kasano Mm. 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 Yes. Mm. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Papa Mama Oh, so thank you for calling brother Ellis. Wow, wow. Okay. <laughs> so Mr. Fokwa, uh let's let's hear from you. Yeah, um you know Stephen Adunchi there the voice of God. said that the beatitudes have been fused mm. into one mm. and molded into a chip mm. and this chip is being inserted as a true christian you should have this chip inserted in your bloodstream mm. meaning that your daily work of life your character must show mm-hmm. that in fact this is the chip that you carry wow if you are let me say a headphone i'm sorry a phone um, and then you carry mtn chip you would only receive messages from the mtn services or telecommunication services if it is another network mm. you would also receive that same communication mm-hmm. so a disciple in the bible asks jesus that how can we connect mm. to the father yes and jesus said mm-hmm. the only thing to do is that recite these words yeah but mm. when you recite them pray? yes teach us how to pray teach us how to pray mm. and mm. prayer is connection, connection. how wow. can you wow. connect to the father mm. in heaven mm. because mm. jesus was always speaking about his father yes every yes. now the mm. father is in me mm. and mm. i'm in the father yes i'm operating based on the authority that the father has given unto yes, me yes. the deeds i do mm. should tell you that that in fact mm-hmm. the father himself has descended down through mm. me mm. jesus christ mm. so mm. they 
even with the disciples, yes. they yes. wanted to know how to connect. And this is the same means that Stephen Adun the okay. voice of Please God. Please hold on for me. We have Mama Gifty calling from the Mayan crew on the line. Adumo! Oh, Adumo Rakwa. Auntie Gifty, oh, you walk out. You walk out to you learn from the prophet. Wow. Uh, what okay. have you learned from Stephen Adun the voice of God? In today's message, yes, to be precise. Papa, Papa, na me Papa, you Wow, Papa, Papa, Amen, Amen, Papa, Amen, Yes. 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 it is done. It is done. It is done. Amen. 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 It is done. It is Amen. Amen. It is Amen. 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 As I was saying, if yeah. in the days of Jesus Christ, mm. Jesus taught mm. his disciples mm. how to connect to mm. the Father because mm. there was this disconnection mm. between the children of God and then the Father in heaven. Mm -hmm. So he sent one man to come and teach them how mm -hmm. they will be able to connect mm -hmm. Father and Son. In our era, in this eighth generation, mm. he has sent another. Another. To teach us wow. because we have there's this disconnection mm. between we mm. and then the father who is in heaven. Okay. Why? Because Akikakika through na sayings mm. Mm. we have disconnected ourselves. Okay. We believe in in superstitions. Superstitions. Those philosophies, mm. family covenant, mm. 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 just to mention yes. a few. Yes. It has disconnected us from the Father who from is in heaven. So we are heaven. not enjoying mm. those sweet promises mm. that Jesus Christ said in his word. Okay. So most have become Christians, mm. but in fact, they are still sick. Some have become Christians, but they are dying off. Okay. So you hold on, dying off for me, and then you go back to the lines now that our managers have helped us get to a connection. Now, uh, a, a caller from Takrade on the line. Adumo. Adumo Araka, Papa. Philadelphia. Adumo Oh, uh, Please, your Adumaraka. name and where you're calling from. Adumo Araka. Please, don't move away from your TV or lower the volume of your TV. Please Adumaraka. do that for okay. us. Okay. Uh okay. -huh. Don't listen to yourself Hello? on the TV. Hello. Hello. I can hear you. Okay. Uh-huh. What have you learned from the voice of God's teachings? Today's teaching, yeah, the Lord's prayer. I'm going to take a camp or two. Uh-huh. And the mom is here. Yajo. 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 I believe that. But, Papa. But, in the, if you don't have power for that one, I'm going to go there. Yajo. Wow. Yajo. 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 One more bet to her son. Or bet on care, or bet to her tree. Don't care. You know what to say, but also, I'm not going to say, 
Once I am the I am the doctor. I am the doctor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. The Lord bless you. So, so, uh, but the next time we hear from you, your testimony shall yeah. be what we are going to celebrate. Receive the fruit of the womb in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, so, so, uh, Mr. Falco, wrap it up quickly. Yeah, so, I'll, yeah. as I was concluding, mm -hmm. just as Jesus Christ came to connect us to the Father mm -hmm. in this generation, mm -hmm. he has sent one, Stephen Adunche, the voice of God, mm. to connect us back mm. to the Father. Because after Jesus and the disciples, as I said earlier on, and Stephen Adunche, the voice of God, taught us, um, Christ, the true Christian statue mm. has lost track. Okay. And ever since then, no one has made it to heaven. So today he asked us, we should make this deep retrospection. Mm. Mm. We should retrospect, let's say, like four Just weeks. one month. One yes. month. Mm. Can you boldly ask yourself that, is my name written in the book of life? Do you have your name mm. Mm. In the book of life. Wow. On the day of reckoning, what would you say? Mm -hmm. So please, with this, if for a long time we've been disconnected, there was this disconnection, we were not able to tune in mm. onto where our father lives. But today, through Stephen Adam Chela, the voice of God, he has helped us to tune in. Mm unto where our father is then henceforth we must do the works of him who has sent us mm, okay. as every new day unfolds okay thank you very much uh let me count you auntie dorothy auntie dorothy you wrap it up for us then let me add the last verse forgive us our sins mm. Okay, I think because the voice of God said it was going to hit on it next week, that is why we, we wanted to uh, leave that one for now so that next week we, we come into it with full gear. Okay, yes. then I will say that Papa Stephen Adam Chedua, the voice of God, is leading us to heaven. Yes, so let's listen to him, <laughs> pay heed to the word, and set ourselves apart for Christ, okay. purify ourselves. And stay holy for God so that we can merit heaven. Mm. Else we we'll let Stephen Adum tell you work in vain. God sent him to yeah. us for that purpose. So we the Philadelphians who are fortunate to be hearing and listening to the word, mm. don't let us take 
chances. Mm -hmm. Let us be doers of Let the be word. Doers of as the he word. is clearing mm. the bushy path mm. for us. Mm. So mm. that he we, we will not blame him. Yeah. Because he doesn't want to be blamed for anything. He's yes, doing yes. all that he could to lead us to heaven. And as men of God, please listen to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the more you try to dare him, hmm. Stephen Adam Chedia has been sent, mm. like mm. Stephen was mm. sent to explain things. Mm. He has been mm. sent to explain things. Mm. So the more you dare him, the more he explains things with bold sketches <laughs> to expose you. <laughs> which will cause your members to run away from mm. your feet. Mm. So you better listen to him. You better listen to him. And adjust wow. to mm. suit what God wants you to to do exactly okay and that will save the situation hmm. okay instead of attacking and let me use this opportunity to urge all Amstead Firo camp members mm. Mm. that come next week oh, today's yes. week is going to be our maiden <laughs> service our first service on campus mm. and mm. we're going to have it at tier 3 lecture room wow. all members are supposed to report mm. by 9 a.m. prompt we have started mm. let's get seated mm -hmm. to meet Adum Nyame mm. for the first time on campus mm. let's tell a sister to also tell a brother let's tell a friend so that they all come and worship with us mm. to listen to the undiluted word of God mm. so that together we can help shape our lives and prepare ourselves for heaven. Let's come in our numbers and on time. So share on every common platform that you have to inform members who have not heard it and other friends who may also want to have uh, come and then worship mm -hmm. with us. Okay. We'll be waiting for you. Okay. And it's going to be brutal. Thank you. It's going to be... A very joyful moment. Thank you. Bless me there. Come Sunday. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Now, so to, to a word to add, a word to the wise is uh, enough. Now to, to the men of God and everyone listening, you want to see performance, testimonies in your ministry. But the voice of God has made us to understand that it's because we have faced the Spirit of God with mm. our sayings, our promises. And this can be confirmed in Isaiah chapter 63, verse number 10. He said, But they rebelled and vest his Holy Spirit. Therefore, he was turned to be their enemy. And he fought against them. So God is fighting against the church. That is why you don't see things happening. But then they believe that it is someone else. That is, but because you have rebelled against his spirit. These are the words of God. So when you read uh, the, the verse number 63, verse 10 downwards, there are a lot of things. I brought it out of Egypt. But look at the things that you're, God was saying, all these things. Many are the things that the Lord has done for us as believers and Christians. Yet we do not continue to worship him and be faithful. Yet we assign the glory to Akakeka, riches and sorcery, other things that do not have uh, honor, other powers that have no honor. Let us all try to desist from it. Take time, take your Bible, sit with the voice of God, learn from him, and then research before you come out to talk. And by so doing, when you do away with all arrogance, your ego and you learn. I know your ministry will even be saved because you've seen the light and you have also turned around. If not, then the Lord who appointed Moses as a flock over Israel will gather all the sheep, uh, the sheep and then put, put them under the, the care of the shepherd, Stephen Adwin Chedia. And when it happens, you are going to cry or laugh at the wrong side of your mouth. <laughs> Thank you. To the voice of God, Stephen Adwin Chedia, Father, we say thank you. We salute you. God, we you bless you for such teachings, always revealing the word of truth, exposing us, and then making us know the nakedness that we are, the darkness in us. When you listen to the messages that came, everyone has now seen himself in the message of uh, the Lord's Prayer. And we are all fallible. We've, we've all erred. So we are now going to mend our ways and try to live unto perfection. To Awahine. Our queen mother, 
our mother, we salute you. We say thank you. God bless you for the good works you continue to do for us all and for the Philadelphia movement. Through you, women are now changing. The way they dress, the way they carry themselves, the way they support their husbands. Marriages are now being so, so, how do I even say it? I have a short of words. All because they've learned from your humility, your meekness. God bless you. To the Philadelphia Royals worldwide, listeners of uh, Second Chance FM 102.1 in Accra, 88.9 FM in Kumase, Second Chance TV viewers, digital and satellite, and then our social media handles, Facebook, YouTube, and even those who use the Believers Social Center mobile app, we say thank you. God richly bless you. Continue to do the good work. Continue to avail yourself and then learn from the voice of God. Stephen Adun Jr. To the TV crew, we say thank you for your marvelous work, especially to the managers, uh, Ahimaba Esther. Thank you for your, your, your good work and then the work you continue to do for us. To the uh, cameramen, the backroom staff, I always say Sunday, your day starts very early and close very late. We appreciate everything you do. May God continue to restore unto you everything you've lost. To the IT department, the brothers, everyone in this house. We salute you all and we say we love you. Continue to do the good work. And I know that Lord shall richly bless you all. We're going to take our last prayer and then we will leave the studios. Let, let's pray. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for your work that you have given to us today. The Bible makes us to understand Amen. that your work cometh not in vain, but to accomplish the purpose for which it was sent. We pray thee that as we have seen ourselves, just like the word of God being a mirror, making us to see how naked we are, we pray thee that we shall put on the cloth, the glory of the Lord. We shall position ourselves well, consecrate ourselves so that, Father, we shall be able to call you Father, and we shall be deserving as your sons, and we shall, Father, continue to benefit from your heritage or our heritage. We thank you, Lord. We give you glory. May this week be full of testimonies. May doors of opportunities be open unto us. Cause us to sing hallelujah unto your name. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Thank you, viewers. Thank you, everyone. Continue to stay with Second Chance TV. And I know your life will never be the same. Continue trusting Adum Yame and he will give you a testimony. Bye-bye.